Hey, chat. All right. We're night in the woodsing. It's really happening. At long last. I gotta get some background music up. This is the kind of game that doesn't play the background music unless you got the got the window in focus. Hang on. That's more like it. This game's got a oh shit. No, it's back. This game's got a real banger of a soundtrack. Um, to the extent that I've actually used it as background music for streams quite a few times. By the uh the late Alec Holoa, unfortunately, but you know. I hope everyone's into this stream. Um, Night in the Woods is, uh, well, the description says, but I might as well reiterate this in the beginning before anything else here, is that I've actually, I'm not fully blind on this game. Um, I've watched a playthrough of it back in 2017 when the game was new, um, and I was a big fan of it back then. But I never actually bought it or played it myself, and um, I haven't really retained too much of the details. I remember the broad strokes of what the game was about, kind of, but I've forgotten, like, most of it. So, um, I wanted to revisit it for a while and actually play it myself, and I figured it's about as Halloween-y of a game as you can get without playing a literal horror game, which is exactly what I'm looking for right now. It is also a game about gay furries, as chat points out, which is, at this point, sort of my niche, I guess. This game is basically Deltarune if it had furries. If you're looking for a concise description chat. You like Deltarune? Imagine that, but with furries. Fucking mind blown. We got Roserade here, we got Walter here, we got Oatsin here, we got Remnant here, we got Cherry here, we got Toby here, Nahu's here, hey Nahu. Fucking everyone's here. Are Rambots furries? I don't think they have fur. You might have to argue with that about... Or argue about that with, um... People more invested in the subject matter. What do you mean Deltarune has furries? Impossible. Even Molly's here. How you doing, Molly? I'm glad that you dropped in. Alright. So this is going to be one of those voicey streams where I have to think of voices for up 400,000 people. I'm excited. Uh, let's just have a go at it here. I'm not even sure what the controls for this game are like yet. In the year Granddad died... Oh, I have to advance it myself with the C button? Are you sure about that game? We had the worst flood since 1998. That was when Ocarina of Time came out. That's a good year. Good vintage. Greg got trapped on top of a doghouse. The power was out for two days. Casey Hartley came back to in his dad's boat, and I laughed when I saw him. Granddad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories, and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. In their wings, in their trees, all things die, be at peace. On his last day, he sat up suddenly, and stared bug eye through the window at the old trains, rattling to somewhere else, from somewhere else. He turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. I didn't remember that intro. What a good fucking note to start on. I love that. Okay. Oh, Molly, your channel hit 10k. That's really cool. Happy for you. You gotta, I don't know, maybe stream Night in the Woods. That would be exciting, eh? Oh, I can pick the dialogue? Oh, I didn't realize I had control over that. Um, so I gotta think of a voice for May here. May is not a silent protagonist. She, in fact, 
from my recollection, doesn't really shut the fuck up. She's not going to be Alex Yeek. What, what about uh, just something like this? Uh, something a little bit hoarse? Something a little bit, uh, a little bit breathier? Something that doesn't take a huge amount of uh, effort to sustain and sounds vaguely different than my normal speaking voice? I think that would be okay, right? Just something kind of like this? Not British. We, we can make other people Alex Yeek. Trans femme burger pants. Is, is that... Is that how you're describing that? That's not Columbo. I think I'll go with that. I don't want to do a super, like, goofy, high-pitched femme voice for May because that's just going to be silly after a while. Okay. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything. But I figured someone would be here. Welcome home, May. Eh? Ooh, look at that animation. She's got a, tef a hefty turning circle. Game feels pretty good as a platformer for a not platformer. Okay, what's the interact button if not space? Oh, it's C. That's a weird one. Wow, did they put this up? When did they put this up? Awesome springs that never looked more falsely advertised. Oh, Garbo and Malloy. Welcome back to Garbo and Malloy. What's in the news today, Malloy? Markets were up today. Way up. That's all you got to say? I'm looking at charts and it's pretty impressive. The economy added 15,000 jobs. Mostly in the chart sector. Which is notoriously recession proof. Alright, they're just going to go on like that. Oh, $3.33 from Shiny Galaxy. Thanks for that. I appreciate the donation. There's no message, though. Now that we're playing depressing queer furry game set in small American towns, when's Echo coming? I haven't heard of that depressing queer furry game. I've actually never heard of that at all. Interesting. I'm curious what that game is like. Does this game have Buddhism? I don't think so. I need a break from the fucking Buddhism. This game might be a little political, yeah, says Outson. It's not Disco Elysium, but Jacob Geller did write an essay on how it's communist or something. Uh, this guy's a janitor, so he's going to be Aughty from Control, obviously. Excuse me, but where is everyone? It's 10.45, it's closed. Not a lot of folk getting off the last bus to Bossom Springs these days. Just you. I've got dialogue options. I love Ati. Isn't there supposed to be someone at the desk? Or the janitor? I think that's kind of be ob kind of obvious. Whatever, just make conversation. Look, start way. What do you do? I fix this door. That's it. Nope. Can I squeeze past you? Nope, just broke the damn thing. Uh, when do you think it might be done? Right after you go grab me a fish skull off from the machine. Am I paying for this? I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Nice. Free isn't free? Free as in no one's here to say otherwise. Alright. Yo, another 333 from Shiny Galaxy. My new favorite game. Have fun. Your new favorite game? Like, as in you've recently discovered it and like it a lot? Or immediately on first sight, you're like, that's a fucking depressed looking furry. That's literally me and it's your favorite game now. Did I ever play Disco Elysium? Asks chat. I did. It's it's one of my favorite games, actually. Um, But I... It was a while ago that I played it. $1.50 from Nofumar? Thank you. 
Chat's very excited for Night in the Woods. I thought some people would be. It's not a game you hear talked about very often nowadays, but... It was the f one of the first games I remember seeing, because 2017 was a while ago. It was post-Undertale, but still, that like really struck me with how it felt like reading a, a novel or something. Like I just remember really enjoying the writing in this game. We'll see how it holds up, but I'm pretty sure it's it, it'll hold up pretty well. Shammy talks about this game. Interesting. I only know Shammy from that one stream he did with Mandalore. Yes, I know Walter's been a persistent advocate of Night in the Woods in the Discord server. It's a payphone. It must be such a relief to payphone companies that Possum Springs gets zero cell reception. It'd be cool to call my parents. But some jerk hole took the time to actually rip it off. Who steals a phone? I don't know, is this fucking problem sleuth? Break the phone. What the? They have lime fiasco and he wants a fizz cola? That's just a waste. Okay, just gotta grab it. Oh, it's a mini game? <laughs> It's like Wasta controlled. That's so funny. <laughs> That's cute. Was it triple jump? Oh my god. This game has better platforming. It, honestly, it feels better as a platformer than some platformers I've played. It's pretty satisfying to control. Five bucks from Sky slash Dawn Marionette. My absolute favorite game ever. The pop-ups usually mean the dialogue continues, so check them multiple times to not miss a lot of fun flavor text. Right, Did the, the ellipses means that dialogue continues. Someone said that. Um... Oh yeah, it, it does the Dark Souls thing. Visitors are going to be so let down when they see the actual town. Prepare to be disappointed, he who enter here. Our town motto. Yeah, she's basically... I'm just doing a fucking transgender burger pants voice. You're fucking right. You're not even wrong, Roserade fuck. One free ass cola. <laughs> Based lad. Yummers. So, what are you doing here? I live here. Well, lived here. Oh, strange. Uh, when do you think that door is going to be finished? No. Goodbye. Uh, bye. Me and Burger Pants would either get along or kill each other with hammers. Uh, yeah, I can see the resemblance. The one of the um the Azzy Pants fix, someone actually included May as just another character, and I think uh, shipped her with Alex Yeek or something like that, so that she fits right into the crowd. Brush Valley, Foot Lucen, Stanton Town, <laughs> Bright Harbor. We sure are in uh, Middle America. Capital M, capital A. But fuck nowhere. I'm not walking back out to the highway. Will we get hit by a car or something? Hey, where did that janitor go? Did he walk? Well, I'm right outside town. Mom and Dad nowhere to be found. Dark and cold. I guess I'm walking. Alone. This bus station is maybe the newest thing in Possum Springs. I guess they got state funding or something. It makes a good first or last impression, I suppose. If not for the abandoned glass factory back there. Not getting rid of that anytime soon. The janitor is the sands equivalent. The janitor is always the sands equivalent. I wish I'm trans now. I didn't know that. You're psyched to see Andrew play this. 
he seems like the kind of player to get every single tiny bit of inconsequential dialogue. You know it. Well, you say that because you've watched my Rain World streams. <laughs> I'm not sure if that pattern holds in general. Wow. I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. I used to hear it in my bed at night, during the winter when the leaves were down. This is the kind of game that can make you nostalgic for things that you never actually experienced, I think. Getting that feeling. Well, I guess I'm gonna hike through the woods. Through the woods is home. My bed. And my negligent parents. Oh. <laughs> Wait, can I get the angle? Quit looking at me with those big old eyes. She does have those eyeballs. Um, I wasn't kidding with the, the yeek parallels, by the way. This game does have, I think, a lot of pretty yeeky energy. Even May herself is a little bit of an Alex-type character to an extent. Not quite as annoying, though. Hmm. This is yeah, not exactly the the safest walk back, it looks like. <laughs> Gotta jump down the fucking sewage pipes, like I'm playing Stray or something. <clears throat> May is Alex if Alex had redeeming qualities and was charming. I think that's a pretty good description. No, you're not missing out if you know nothing about Yeek. You're, in fact, I, I think your general quality of life will be improved. Ah, this is some dank nature. Dank nature and garbage. My face when the nature's dank. Are you gonna walk through that stream, May? Is she hardcore like that? I fucking hate getting my shoes wet so much. Ah. Uh, even in a roleplay context, I hate to see it. Class of 99. Are we in the 90s? Oh, fuck up. But we're in the 90s, dude. Uh, wait. Oh, there's platforming in this game. Crazy. Oh my god. Me, is there not a better way to get home than whatever the fuck you're doing? Oh my god. It was dangerous. I could have died. That was amazing. I'm not gonna die in this hole. God, this is what growing up in a rural town is like every day. There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park up there is called Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost a log at some point. Gonna have to climb, I guess. Yeah, true, it's in. If you, ha if you don't know anything about Yeek, you have the opportunity to play Yeek 1.5 blind, which, uh, as the Yeek stands will tell you, is Yeek if it was good. Maybe. What if May actually dies and the rest of the game is a hallucination? Uh, message this to Matt Pat immediately. He'll want to know. The people in Furry World have a subculture of creating skin sonas and walking in cartoon-looking human skin suits. That's a good question. That I don't think necessarily needs to be answered. Wow, I haven't been here in maybe 10 years. And apparently no one else has. Where is this? The fucking... The... The bandit base outside of Whiterun? What made you want to stream this? Um, I've kind of wanted to stream this for a while, just because I... I wanted to revisit the game, but also it's a very... Extremely autumnal game. It's, it's very Halloween flavored. And I, I really don't feel like playing a, a horror game at the moment. I don't know what they were going for here. Some sort of boat castle? Most of it's gone now. Just a thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. Weird animals? Nothing like you, May. You'd never be a, a, a weird animal, would you? Nah. You'd never give birth in a boat castle. Oh, come on. I don't think I have the upper body strength to climb this. You can't keep me out, Possum Springs. I'm queen of you. Uh, could probably just leap off this telephone pole. 
What do you mean? Is there a, a climbing mechanic? Maybe there's puzzle solving involved? Ooh, the platforming is kind of tricky. Lots of momentum. Ahoy! Looks like the ladder's gone. <clears throat> if I can just get to the top of this thing. Ah. I could never make it up onto that tree when I was a kid. The number of logs mocked me. The logs and the other kids. Let me see if I can visualize this. <laughs> mm hmm. Can't stop running while I do this. Not even for a second. Gotta have enough momentum. I think I can do it. Uh, just run, jump, jump, jump. It's a triple jump. They, they made it a Mario fucking 64 triple jump. Actually, it's a double jump. Never mind. Or is it a... Tr I th no, it is a triple jump. It's only been two years since I lived here. Not in this playground. Possum Springs, I mean. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Oh. I've got a journal. Your parents forgot you, says the squiddle. Oh, this is the first page of her diary, I see. So we have a generic leaking eyeball. The, um... The cube that every human has drawn in a notebook at one point. Uh, attempt to shade a sphere. I never tried the sphere, only cubes, personally. I drew some tesseracts, actually. That was kind of my hobby. I was drawing tesseracts for some reason. Is May an art school dropout? I'm not sure what she was majoring in, but she's a dropout, all right. There is no universal S, though. I'm such a nerd. You can't tell me you didn't draw a fucking... A single, not even one tesseract. How do I escape this menu? Oh. Wait, what? Why am I in the settings now? I think that's just the pause menu, actually. Oh, look at her go. Boing, boing. She's very agile. Don't fuck it up, me. Don't fuck it up. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. Hello, me. It's been a while. Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? I was out here doing my rounds, and I saw you in the very off-limits playground. So? Get in the car, me. No. Do you want to spend your first night back in jail, me? No. Is that her dad? It's totally her dad. <laughs> or maybe not, if he's already teleported to the couch. Oh, it's just another cat-shaped dude. Wait, fuck, I have to give her dad a new voice now. I thought that was her dad, so I just went for dad voice. Uh, hey, remember me? Nah, no, fuck it. I'm giving him the same voice. <laughs> I'm committing to it. Oh. Me, you gave me a heart attack. Good. What are you doing? Oh. Me, honey, we thought you were coming home tomorrow night. You thought wrong. How did you get here? I walked until I got arrested. By Aunt Mall Cop. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's a funny face. They really gotta to ring those, like, five lines that make up her entire face, um, for all they've... for all they're worth. Asgore voice? Oh. Did you say hi to Molly for me? Oh, it's Molly. Uh, I don't think I got the Asgore voice in me at the moment. <laughs> hi, Molly. No. I say hi for no one. F the cops. I'm gonna bed. Is my bed still here? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night for that, too? Ah, oh, me. So good to hear that voice again. Good night. She's pissy. 
She's mad. She's grumpy. Grumpy me. <laughs> Just trying to match the calendar pose here. Take every stair for roleplay. Oh wait, I can just walk up. Check the notebook. Dad looks older. People age when they get older, May. That's how it works. It's cool that you noticed that though. There's a lot of black fucking cats up there. Holy shit. Oh. There are a few things hanging around in here from the old country. This clock, the trunk in the storage room, and whatever is buried under the house after the cement incident. Uh, what do you mean, May? <laughs> semi-blind playthrough. Yes, this is a mostly blind, well, semi-blind playthrough, yeah. The old country. I guess Borovsky is, a uh, Polish, probably. Oops. I wanted to check that closet, but I got stuck on the stairs like it was a fucking NES Castlevania. Ooh, spooky closet. Ah, uh, since when is the crawl space all jammed up? I wonder if Dad could move them. Oh, this is like a Metroidvania moment. I have to get like the power bracelet to come back here later. She's so Polish, says chat. Look at her. What you looking at, me? The picture of yourself? Some sort of narcissist, me? <laughs> her eyes totally track the picture, that's cute. This is a one-handed game, by the way. I feel like I'm playing Earthbound right now. Her room is still pretty intact. Nice. What is Gaster dancing to? You know, just the ebb and flow of space, time, the universe, and all conscious uh, perception. Her bed is a bench, yeah. To be fair, I, I do like sleeping on couches personally. Oh, this is peaceful. I think I have to deliberately interrupt this nice little uh, moment here to, to get going with the day. <laughs> Originally, me as this Nithany what ethnicity wasn't specified, but people complained that the game lacked polish. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Is the best Polish name. <laughs> that, that sure is a Polish name. Read chat for minutes. That's a good idea. What do you guys think of the theory that Devil is Jevil's sister and the Red Joker card? Okay, I'm done reading chat. Wake up the fuck up, me. Is this the kind of game where you just don't take showers? Like Yeek? Does May know how to take a shower? Could play some bass, but which song? Nah, later. Space Dragon? Dude, Space Dragon though, dude. Wander in space, no matter forbidden place. Oh, sweet. I remember this, they have like the fucking Friday Night Funkin' minigame. I'm gonna suck at this. Apparently not. Apparently I'm cracked. Oh, 
Okay, I'm keeping <laughs> would be the basest. Basest energy. Did I 100% it? Oh no, there's more. There's more. This captures what it's like to play bass. Lots of um, notes, I remember. Molly's second. I can't read that. Fuck. Slightly too fast. There's a. Uh, the song's missing some components. Is maybe been put into an FNF mod yet? I feel like that's a natural kind of progression. Face the fuck out of that dragon. I'm stuck, I can't be chat. This is a groove though. Nice. I'm in an FNF mod? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I gotta catch up on chat from that. I couldn't look the whole time. Um, that was pretty much perfect. Yeah, I didn't get rusty at college. Molly remembers on my second playthrough, I kept restarting so I could get the achievement for playing all these songs without missing any notes. <laughs> Wait, do you have to do them all perfectly first try? That's fucked up. I think I missed one note though. So that's already out the window. Space Dragon is the night. Um, yeah, the the deal with the the, the fr Friday Night Funkin' mod I'm apparently in is um. Well, I called it uh, like an FNF mini game because it uses the same control scheme. I think, or actually, I don't know. I've never played FNF before. Um, the last I remember playing Flash games like that back in the day. Like, I forget what they were called, but, like, you just used 1, 2, 3, 4 instead of a Guitar Hero controller. They were classic. But, uh, yeah, I was... Someone posted that FNF mod, the Delta Cast one, in my server. And I was really zoned out. And I was just sort of randomly scrolling through my server and just looking at stuff. And I was like, that's that's a... Looks like a Gaster versus the Vessel FNF mod. I guess I'll watch that. And I didn't even maximize it. I just, like, played it in the tiny Discord thumbnail. And I wasn't really paying attention and it took until fucking Jaru Jaru popped out of the phone that I caught on that it was a Delta Cast thing and not just like a generic Delta Rune Gaster mod. <laughs> and I had to like reevaluate my whole perception of reality on the spot. And then sure enough, I, I noticed that I was standing in the background. There was just like Nikola Tesla and all the other Delta Cast people the whole time. It was fucked up. <laughs> it was fucked up, man. When I found out that Mother 3 had a rhythm combo, did you say this is exactly like Friday Night Funkin'? I don't believe I did. I don't think so. Oh, I hope your Sony gets an FNF mod soon, Molly. If you do a second Delta cast, it's it's just a matter of time, because you'll be in there. And uh, I'll email Friday Night Johnson, whatever, whoever does that mod. I'll say get, get Molly in there. Alright, uh, we've done nothing with our day so far besides... Talk about Friday Night Funkin'. I was so cute then. We were all so cute then. Cuties, the lot of us. We could have a uh, traveling show. The cute Borovskis. Her name sounds like Brewski. Is that her mom, honey? 
Uh, yeah? Come see me in the kitchen before you leave. Okay. Some vague variant of Toriel voice. Yeah, that's her mom. My name is Friday Night Johnson. I play time so good, I bring back the dead. I love Friday Night Johnson. Uh, was there supposed to be a sequel to this game before uh, Alakaloa died? I know there's um a spiritual-ish successor. Um, what's that one called? Re Revenant something? About it's like a literal cat who looks like May but is just a cat. Um, which is yeah, Revenant Hill. That's it. That's it. And it's by I'm assuming some of the creators who died. The the person. He worked on the game to some extent, and he did the soundtrack. Uh, Alex H Holoka? Holoa? Um, he, unfortunately, is no longer alive, yeah. Holoka. Maybe Holovka, even. Who knows? Hi, Mom. Welcome home, sweetie. Uh, thanks for not changing the locks. Sorry you mixed up the day you were coming back. Uh, it was such a short notice. Uh, it's okay, Mom. Me, honey? Yeah? Is everything okay? Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean, Mom? Honey, did something happen? I, I just needed to come home. Well, sweetie, I think you can understand my worry. That's not usually something a college sophomore just up and does. I know. Honey, you can tell me if it's something happened. Mom, uh, I'm fine, uh, really. Can we talk about this another time? Sure, honey, it's okay. Thanks, Mom. I bet you your old friends will be happy to see you. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know where Greg is, would you? Oh yeah, uh, Greg's working down at the Snack Falcon. Up in town center, uh, west by Click Clack. We have a Snack Falcon now? Oh yeah, it's so handy. You know, ever since the food donkey went out... The food donkey is gone? Oh yeah, going on almost a year now. Wow, uh, where does everyone shop? Everyone goes out to the Ham Panther, up by the highway now. <laughs> These fucking names. One hundred viewers really is a furry channel? That's... <laughs> I won't deny it. Revenant Hill is tonight in the woods what Deltarune is to Undertale. I don't know much about it, but... From what I've seen, that could be true. The Walmart killing small businesses. Oh, is Ham Panther the Walmart? Yeah, that, that'll happen. I'm assuming Snack Falcon is just 7-Eleven or something. I'd say these names are stupid, but I live near Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If Night in the Woods had humans instead of furries, the stories would be, um, the stories would be something named Ham Hominid. <laughs> yes. Uh, Munch Monkey. I have cultivated an audience of freaks in all shapes and sizes. Welcome to your new home, freak! But I see your little friend Greg when I go into town. Wow, uh, the food donkey's gone. We have a snack, Falcon. It's a whole new world, sweetie. Yeah, it is. Well, have a good time out there. Lots to explore, see what's changed. I will. Uh, just watch out for all the construction. Well, would it be Fall and Possum Springs without loads of construction? So festive, honey. I'll be back later. Bye, sweetie.
Have I watched The Amazing Digital Circus? I've heard people talk about that. It's apparently uh, the... Uh, who the fuck did it? Was it Gooseworks? Kill, 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 kill. Okay, the locals seem nice. That was fucking Kuno or something. I like it when the cat character's eyes just glow with a mysterious yellow ambience. It's it's uh, quite an aesthetic. Uh, I can't get past this dude. Well, it sure is fall. All the road work crammed in before winter. Makes like half the town inaccessible. Unless you want to walk the long way around for like 20 minutes. Which, I mean, no. Okay, well they've, they've implemented a... Uh, progression system. I see. The, the town has been roped off by Undyne until chapter 3. Oh, it's a squirrel. Crazy. Dude, I can follow the squirrel. Hitch and eat the squirrel, mate. Eat the squirrel. Eat the squirrel. Get it. Get it. Oh, fuck. I remember the time in ninth grade when I snuck out and could see into Tom Bradwell's bedroom. Ass cheeks. Yep, that sure did happen. Well, that just happened. Never took me for an ass peeker. What constitutes an Outer Wilds weirdo? Asks Outsin. I don't know. Like anyone who's played Outer Wilds? I don't think. Yeah, it's hard to be a weirdo for liking Outer Wilds. The pe is there, unless there's like shipping. I've never heard of anyone shipping Outer Wilds characters. Even the. And it's ubiquitous. Nothing can truly escape shipping, but. I've honestly never come across it in the context of Outer Wilds. This game stole the music you played on your streams. It did. Uh, maybe I should jump down from the fucking power line so I can talk to the NPCs. That's a good idea, huh? Hey, Mr. Twigmire. Me? Is that you? Nope. <laughs> Well, it looks like me, but but it smells like me. I have a smell. When you were a kid, Susan used to call you a little dirt ball. Well, I was a dirt ball. You still are a dirt ball, I bet. Cradle the grave, 100% dirt ball. That's the spirit. See you around, Mr. Twigmire. She's a dirt ball. The Outer Wilds fanbase is a lot less rabid than one would imagine. It's not really that fandom-y of a fandom, at least, well, I, I don't know. Maybe there is a, a really intense, weird Outer Wilds fandom, but I've just never encountered it. Maybe it just lives on a Discord server somewhere away from the public view. What a fucking menace she is. Oh, she doesn't have a turnaround animation for uh, slow walking. Interesting. Check that out. I bet you can't do that. This was May's signature dance move in high school. Um, she called it the uh, epileptic seizure. Your Outer Wilds fans are too afraid to tell you anything about the game to actually talk about it. Selmers! What are you doing home? I dropped out. Wow. Yeah, I guess. So, like, you just don't go back? That's about it. Weird. May's hurt box is shorter while she's dash dancing. <laughs> it makes her eyes do some interesting things. Who's that guy? This is Birdly. Hello? What to do on my post? Oh no, wait. I've, I've been given a, a pre-existing accent to work with. What should do on my porch? Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Hello, May. My best worst student. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like the constellations, hated school. Hey, don't knock school. School is vital for your future. What are you doing back in Possum Springs? This guy's like, hello, Mario voice. 
Do you know that cats can fall from any height and survive? Wow, I didn't know that. The next time I have a cat and I'm standing on top of the CN Tower, I'll make sure to boot it off and watch as it falls. This guy has red text. Cara! Cara real! I dropped out of school. Oh. Uh, well, if you're still interested in constellations, come by my roof down the hill later this week. I should have my new telescope set up by then. This is the worst voice I've ever generated. Ah, uh, sure thing. Hello, Mario. It's just like... <laughs> It's like the your worst nightmare, opening up a video essay and the guy talks like that. <laughs> it's the worst case scenario. Hello. I'm going to talk today about why Mario is cool and a good game. I remember when B's family had a house and not a tiny depressing apartment. Wish I could talk to this guy. He looks cool. Oh, it's the the child goblins. Hey, it's the Harleys. Uh, what are you doing? Can this one be birdly, maybe? Little Dove, you're under arrest. Oh, wow. Kids still talk about little Joe. We used your DNA. Ghosts don't have DNA. What are they talking about? Little Joe is a, is a dead person, I guess? It's better than when people do the fake overexcited YouTube voices. <laughs> you don't usually get that in a video essay, though. I'm not sure how the fuck you would make that work for a video essay. You know? <laughs> like, um... I'm trying to remember a long enough quote from one of my own videos that I could use. Yeah, f fuck it. Uh, th this bit is overambitious. Ghosts don't have DNA. Yeah, ghosts don't have DNA! That one's Kuno. Hey lady, can you leave us alone? Yeah, leave us alone, lady. Lady. Zoomer essay. Hopefully it's an uncontroversial statement that Undertale is, from its own point of view, not a game, but a world like a game. How's that? The Dagoth Ur voice? Nerevar, you should join my Minecraft server. Or something like that. Dagoth Ur has a very hard voice to replicate because it just sounds deep. Just kind of deep. There's subtle nuances to it. Uh, Danny, right? Uh, yep. I think you were a senior when I was a freshman. Probably. How's it going? Yeah, I just lost my job. Oh, no. They say construction's always hiring. But it's not. In fact, it's often laying off guys named Dan. What are you gonna do? I'm open to suggestions. Don't give up. I'm sure someone in town is hiring. That's all I can really say. It sucks, but keep trying. I'm sure someone in town's hiring. I've been out of work for a year before. And this time I only lasted six months before being laid off. Do you know what that does to a resume? Not really. I have a zombie resume. It's dead, but somehow it's still going all over the place. Oh. Well, R.I.P. that guy. There's the spooky underpass we can interact with. Trolley side news and pretzels and pierogies. Fuck, I'd love a pierogi stand. I wish I had one of those within, within five minutes of my house. Hey, I just got back in town. And the one thing I missed most was... Hey, I remember you. Hello. Thief? Oh, oh, come on. That was years ago. Once a thief, always a thief. All right, you know what? 
I'm not a thief, you take that back. This isn't even a restaurant. It's a crappy food stand in a hole. This establishment has been in business for 50 years. 50 crappy years in a hole. You know what else has been in the hole for 50 years? Dead people from the 60s. No respect, no respect on this one. You can keep your hole pretzels and your damp pierogies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go jump in the river. Fucking alienated the... <laughs> Delicious pretzels. Come on, me. The other pretzel? Oh, I thought she was gonna nab one. <laughs> Nicest conversation in New York? Oh, I should have given that guy a comical Brooklyn accent. Next guy will get the comical Brooklyn accent. Not this delinquent teen, though. Hey, teens. Hey, hey. What, what are you guys doing? No, nothing. Cool. Uh, cool that people still hang out down here. We used to do that when I was in high school. Yeah. I wasn't in high school that long ago, you know. Alright, how old are you? Twenty. Oh, so you you can't buy beer? No. Do you have a car? No. Huh. <laughs> I like that. It's still fucking weird that you can't buy beer when you're twenty in America. That's fucked up. It's the most bizarrely old age gate. 21 for beer. The Miller's store. Oh wait, this guy has the Yeek shirt. It's almost five, quitting time. Kick back some brews and watch the smelters. That's Yeek if he was a, a smelters fan, you know? Japan is 20? Even Japan is less. In Canada, it's 19. I think it actually might vary between provinces, but here it's 19. In, I think in some places it's way younger, though. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck Europe's doing. Yo, it's Greg! Everyone likes Greg. How does Greg talk? Anarchist Fox. 18 in Greece. Yeah, 18 for most of Europe. It might be 18 in Quebec. Because they, they wish they were in Europe and Quebec. They let you drink alcohol during your school trip? Where the fuck do you live? <laughs> Oh my god. How does Greg talk? Greg, my name is Greg. I'm a kind of Greg maxing right now, graying out. I don't know. Greg? Inside, inside my head. Uh, my name's Miles Tails Prower. I don't think that'll work. It's 18 in Manitoba. I think that's just so that you can get your alcoholism started early. You're gonna be depressed as fuck anyway living in Manitoba, so they just like get it over with. I'm so Greg Carr. Oh my god. Hey, Greg. What are you doing here? I'm back. Like, back as in today? Back as in back. Too bad you didn't die at college. They kind of sound the same. They shouldn't be the same voice. Fuck. May is so back. Oh, you can buy guns when you're 18, but not. But you can't get drunk and shoot the guns until you're 21. You first tried alcohol when you were 13. Interesting. So those two are shipped. Just <laughs> I think you can take for granted that any two characters in the in the main four are going to be shippable. Um, Greg is in a relationship though. So maybe a bit less, a bit less with him, but that, that's not going to stop anyone if you're being realistic. 
That's not going to stop anyone who really wants to. Greg is gay. That's also not going to stop anyone who really wants to. Too bad you didn't catch a flesh-eating disease. I'm going to struggle with... How do I keep Greg's voice distinct from May's? Too, too bad you didn't join a murder cult. Like... Literally 1984, can't shoot people drunk at 18. Make him pizza pants? May is already just, we've established that May is just trans femme pizza pants at this point, right? He needs an accent, says Outsin. What kind of accent? Any votes? I don't think I can do very many. Make him Asriel? A Midwest. I don't even know what N NL stands for. Germa? <laughs> How the fuck do you do a Germa voice, Molly? Too bad you. Too bad you didn't. Uh, no. How does Germa talk? Germa talks like quickly and agitated. He, he talks like he's afraid and he's on cocaine at all times. Germa talks like that. Too bad you didn't join join a murder cult. Too too bad you didn't join a murder cult. Like <laughs> that's like Seinfeld. That's coked out Seinfeld. Boston? I don't think I can do a Boston accent. How, how does that work? B bo Is that how fucking like... You're so good at the German voice? What do you mean? Try to imitate out. Oh, Scout TF2. Boink! I'm Boston! Boston! Continue the German. I can try? I don't know what'll happen, though. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of what'll happen. <laughs> Too bad you didn't join a murder cult! Like, if I... It's it's subtle. If you do it wrong, it sounds like you're doing... I don't know, something else. Too bad you didn't lose all your limbs. In a freak soda machine accident. God, it's so good to see you. <laughs> oh, he's cute. How's Angus? You two still a thing? Hold on. It doesn't work. Fucking... It, this is gonna be... This is gonna be such a struggle. I... Cause Germa... I don't know what he sounds like. I can imitate the mannerisms of Germa, but it's not a voice. It's not a voice you can do. What... What are you doing? <gasps> Changing the music! <laughs> you can't say anything normally. This isn't gonna work, chat. You don't need the voice. He says all his use like ease. What? R I know he says like roof, you know. Gave him a Kiwi accent. Uh, I don't. Th I don't even know if I can do a reliable Aussie, let alone Kiwi. But I could. I could try it. I could change in the music. That's kind of. I feel like I'll just start doing a shitty surfer dude if I go for Australia. Whatever. I'll try it. There's not too many uh, options at this point. No. 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 That's, that's what Australian people say, right? No. What? Angus. What are you doing here? What, what are you doing? That's bad too. It's really bad. Do it like chills. Actually, that might actually... What are you doing here? I live here. Since when? No, that's also bad. All these voices suck. I'm sorry. I haven't struggled this much before. He's trying to fly away, yeah. You probably achieve it too. The German to Australian accent pipeline. B would have a chills voice. <laughs> Make him Enoch. 
Since when? <laughs> Since last night, or uh, 11 or so. That's amazing. I'm to ban practice. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. Oh my god, the band is still a thing? I'm just gonna cut my losses and just read his dialogue normally for a while until I could get my bearings. Sure. Uh, when's practice? Now. When you get off work. Now. He gets off work now. Really? I feel like I should be screaming his his dialogue. He's corked up and goaded with the sauce. Molly, what does that mean? Oh, there's Angus. Hey, hey, Angus. Hi, Angus. Hey, it's you. It's me. It's me. I, I, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> So, so, party barn went out, huh? Yeah, I'm not sure how it even stayed open. Like, how many parties are there, really? We need a lot of parties to keep a party barn running. Eight-year-old bass! <laughs> no, that's not it. Bad, bad. Eight-year-old bass! That was a bit germy. Oh, dude, I, I don't think I even remember. Hey, the, uh, bass bad. Angus is easy. <laughs> oh, wow. Hi. Yeah. Hi. There's B. That'll do. She's totally back! <laughs> You're probably dead! <laughs> She's totally back! Wait, what? Uh, are you, uh, here for band practice? I play drums. Uh, that's not drums. That's a computer. It's fine. She also does your bass parts. Well, I understood them as the bass parts. But I can turn them off. Turn them off on your computer? May we're totally gonna play a song. You totally have to play bass. Th I think that works. Uh, Five sixty-seven from Shiny Galaxy. Thank you, Angus, my beloved. My friends love to compare him to Freddie Fazbear or Peter Griffin. <laughs> anyway, Angus is great. <laughs> Are those flattering comparisons? I'm not sure. I don't even remember. Those aren't even drums. Oh, oh we gotta go. Alright. Th this is the banger. I wish I could sing along, but that would take too much concentration. Grace our tired feet. No, it's not. Not possible. Love this song. I really do. I did learn the real bass line on piano, but it doesn't quite sound as good in that context. Yeah, they're, they're good covers of this. Ooh, the drums. What is B doing here? Just like she presses play on FL Studio, then stands back. <laughs> what a groove. We're just not here.
Oh. <laughs> You're lying if you did that part first try. The sound of your bass is turned up louder than the backing track, so it's just like, ah, where's the beat? Where's the beat? Just let me die anywhere else. What an aspirational uh, chorus. <laughs> really fills my soul with hope. Pretty good. That's the deal with airline food. Yeah, that was okay. Not bad, considering I don't know the song. Uh, holy crap. That was hard to do. You'll get back in practice. I hope so, jeez. Uh, my wrist hurts. That was great, man. Just like seeing you back. Just, just like seeing you back. Oh, no. Like just seeing you back. Playing your old horrible bass. Okay, are we doing this dinner thing? Yeah! <laughs> woo! Woo, baby! Woo! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm waiting for! Woo! It says Greg. Yeah. Hip hip. God, I, find, I find it hard switching between the, uh, the, the relaxed mode of conversation and them suddenly screaming. And uh, it, I think it works better in a textual form than if you're actually trying to voice it. That's a great Angus impression. That's just the batter voice. That was the first voice I ever generated for a live stream. This one is hard. Hell yeah. Did you miss pizza, May? They have pizza at school. Oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> this is a very silly mini game. This pizza isn't right. It's pretty horrible. Dudes, have you heard of the pizza scale? The what? Screw it, pizza good. Yeah, what's the pizza scale? What's the pizza scale, Greg? There's a scale of pizza. On one end, there's the worst pizza, but there's like everything else above that. Right? It's still really good. What's at the other end of the scale? It's pizza all the way up. Pizza good. <laughs> what the fuck? Greg's AI is bugging out. Fuck off, Greg. Can I can I cuddle Greg? You're gonna we have to eat that piece together like the lady in the tramp now. <laughs> I mean it's no past abilities. I missed past abilities. I'm not touching those crusts. Same. We should have gone to past abilities. The diner has ambiance. The seats are comfy. The food is terrible, but it's got charm. You too fancy for the diner now? Guys, please. I was raised in this diner. You know, like a zillion rats. Did the music turn off? I feel like there should be music in the background. I'm wondering if this is intentional or if the game is bugged out. I gotta sing your pizza scales to warm up. <laughs> yeah. Pizza ray falls so lotted up. You're a bit late? We haven't done much. The pizza scale is a... Uh... Isn't is that the old adage? Is that like... Pizza and sex are similar in that when they're good, they're very good, and when they're bad, they're still pretty good. I thought that's what he was getting at. There's your snort. May we don't play out. Uh oh. We have jobs, May. Or look at the video up post two. 
What do you mean, two? I'm at the old pickaxe. Oh, shit's gonna get depressing. Uh, it's obviously her dad's store. What's the story be? Sure is. I'm Lord of the Snack Falcons. You sure are, Greg. You sure are. Where's Casey? Oh, yeah. Y you wouldn't know, huh? Casey's gone. Gone? G gone how? Hop the train, I bet. Oh, wow. He always talked about doing that. Yeah, one day he was just gone. Made a clean break. Hasn't emailed or anything. Well, good for him, I guess. His parents put up missing person posters. But everyone knew what happened. Uh, geez, Casey. Uh, I... Huh. Mm-hmm. And what exactly do you do, May? I was in college. And why exactly are you still not there? Uh, didn't work out. Screw school. Overcompensate me. Lean into it. Stunning. It's got awkward as fuck. Well, uh, better get home, dude. Oh yeah, Angus got a date with the... S oh, wait, no. Oh yeah, Angus got a date with sword people online. Sword people. Does he mean like World of Warcraft? Or are they in like a Hema thing together? <laughs> the cigarettes just kind of hovering there. Be learned telekinesis. Ah, uh, lucky. He's playing SAO. <laughs> It's really great to be back. Dude, we can hang out every day. Oh my god. Holy crap. W what? Is that an arm? Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, that's an arm. The... I think I kind of undersold the reactions there. That's an arm. Nobody move. Nobody move. Let's poke it with a stick. I call first. <laughs> what the fuck? Me? This is like tampering with evidence. I'm going to have to start worrying about getting dismembered on my way home. Shush, I want to watch this. You don't need your ears to watch. Shh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What the fuck, me? What a goblin. Can I poke the cockroach? Come. Yeah, I got the cockroach. This is rancid, me. What the fuck are you doing? Enough. Enough. Oh, wait. There's something in the, the sleeve? Who, is that the cop? What's going on here? Ruh roll. Who no behavior? That's the cop. What if in the spirit of Disco Elysium, Aunt Molly is just uh, Kim Kitsuragi? Yeah, Aunt Molly, we found an arm. All right, May. Put the stick down and step away from the arm. That's not a very good Kim Kitsuragi, is it? He's ambitious, to be fair. He speaks in like a French-Japanese accent. Don't besmirch, Kim. All right, May. Put the stick down and step away from the arm. All right, don't taser me or anything. No promises. Oh, well, I think it's uh, time for Ingus and I to get home. See you tomorrow, May. All right, I don't want any of you walking home alone tonight. Buddy system. Something bad's going on. 
I can drive my home officer. Thank you, B. Yeah, thanks, B. Uh, let's roll. Oh, here we are. I didn't remember the game starting this quickly, actually. I thought there, there was more fucking around. We've been put right into the, um, the cutscene gauntlet. I guess this is sort of the opening. People ship these two? Oh, yeah. I think big time. Oh, yeah. B always faces to the side? That's true. <laughs> well, she only has one eye on each side of her face, presumably, so she's got a... This is how she looks forward. She's like a rabbit. It does look uncomfortable though, holy shit. So, uh, working at the elk pickaxe. Yep. Are they training you to take over the family business? They? Um, your parents. Hey, look, we're here. Oh, my, my house is actually isn't for a few blocks. Get out. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks for the ride. Go. The fuck? Did, did May forget that her parents died or something? <laughs> what did she do? <laughs> That went south really quick. Hey, kid. Rawr. Uh-oh. Uh, that's a dis uh, interaction that would be a lot more sinister on, like, a Discord direct messages, but I think it's okay in this case. Listen, May, I'm sorry about last night. Uh, I really thought you were coming home tonight. It's okay? It's okay, I guess. Oh, no, don't be mean, May. Don't be mean as your dad. I went through the ravine by the old mill. Almost died. What? Yeah, logs almost killed me. Normal stuff. Well, I suppose you'll never have to st uh, I'll never leave you stranded again. No, well, I promise I'll never leave you stranded again. Tell you what, how about we pretend I did come home tonight, and we just got back from the bus station. Throw it over. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Dad. Hey, me. Thanks for picking me up. Welcome home, May. I'm going to sleep, I think. Well, you've had a big day. Good night, kid. That was nice. Does this game have multiple endings? I'm not sure about endings. I think it has multiple routes. Like, you choose who you hang out with each day, and that determines what you do. What's the moon on that mug? Is that a reference to something, or is it just a funny-looking moon? Oh, what's, what's back here? Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you. What? We found an arm on the ground today. Are we still pretending it's yesterday? No, we came out of the click-clack and there was an arm. Just like an arm. What? Aunt Malkop came and get, uh, came in everything. Oh my god, that's, that's really weird. I poked it with a stick. Okay, really, May? Don't poke dead body parts with sticks. Too late. Wow, I'll, I'll have to email Molly. Alright, good night for real now. It's just the kind of town where you poke the dead bodies with the stick, I guess. The fuck does turn out now? What a rake is! Honestly, knowing this game, I wouldn't be surprised if the moon in the mug had a symbolism to it. Yeah, fucking maybe. I know there's some deep lore to this, but I forget most of what that was about. There's, um, there's some supernatural elements even, perhaps. It's just like Twin Peaks. Any small town with spooky stuff is Twin Peaks. That's what I've decided now. The moon appears at night. May's mom is the night in Delta Root. <laughs> That's how it works. You figured it out, Cherry. The moon also appears during night when it's dark, which means she's Gaster. Witch... Day... Witch... Dagger? Witch Dagger. The Sacred Youths. It's just like Life is Strange. Is Life is Strange like this game? 
I know they're in high school and they're gay or something, and there's maybe time travel. I really don't know anything about that game. Which Dago? <laughs> Which the Dagon? Life is strange is equally bad as Yeek. Oh dear, okay. I'm sorry for your loss, I guess. Bedtime. Um, yeah, I don't see much else to do. She's never gonna take a shower, is she? <laughs> He's literally never going to take a shower. I don't think this house has a has a bathroom. Oh, she just licks herself like a cat. That's that makes perfect sense. That would be um an interesting cutscene. I'm sort of glad they skipped that. It seems like it'd be hard to get her tongue around, like her head is the size of her whole body. It's not very maneuverable like that, you know? Like, how do you get the upper torso? Wow, it's been literally 36 hours since I've been online. This shall not stand. Fucking millennial zoomers and their computers. Oh my god. It's just like that one Rain World uh, fucking animation. <laughs> Five Pebbles tries to uninstall the rot. Burly singles in your zip code. Ah, no! What is wrong with you? Damn it. Wait, why is she getting ads for, for B? Like, the, the, the targeted hot singles ad just looks like her friend. <laughs> How awkward. Fantastic yums. La danse de série. What is that in the back? I bet Angus knows how to fix this. He's all computery, I think. Uh, but I can't. I can't let him see this. Where does he work again? Abort. Abort. B really needs that money. Not like that. Not like that. Yeah, that was the original appearance of Spamton in a video game. Little known fact. Well, there's more. There's more here. If you if you don't get sucked down the stairs. Ah, I've never liked this bird. What's what's wrong with it? No explanation. It was pretty great when Granddad gave me that apple crate of old scary stories. Not sure how they ended up here. Death comes to Wigglesbury, the fancy corpse, Hellmouse Stevenson, Necropus Book the First, Lady Shark, eh, stowed on Gallows Hill. Those are probably all references to like real stories, but furry-fied for all I know. You don't even need to furry-fy murders in the Rue Morgue, that, that, that's about a fucking killer orangutan. Fell down the stairs, you say? We don't talk about falling downstairs in this house. Unless you mean, uh, I warned you about stairs, bro! It keeps happening! Hey, hun. Yeah? Come say hi. Gotta go talk to mommy. Falling up the stairs. <laughs> Morning, Mom. Nope, I'm... I'm 24 hours a day. Har, har, har. Also, it's 4 p.m., sweetie. Well, I'm off to find Angus. Oh, is he your little, uh, friend Greg's boyfriend? Big guy, kinda quiet. Yeah, that's him. I needed to fix my laptop. Well, you better, sweetie. You can't afford to buy a new one. Wait, what do you... How do you even know Angus? Or do you even know Angus? 4 p.m. is pretty rough. I've woken up at a 
one or two a couple times recently. Doesn't feel the best, but 4 p.m. is, is pretty bad. <laughs> You're gonna be awake all night. Do you? Kinda? We're in a band together. <laughs> sorta. Mom, we're in a band together. Sorta. Oh, is the band back together? Yeah, we practiced last night. I don't think we're ever gonna play, though. Uh, well, that sounds like fun, honey. Yeah, I guess. You don't sound too happy about it. Uh, well, I'm off to find Angus. Have a good time, daughter. <laughs> She's becoming Toriel. Thanks, 24-hour mom. Seven days a week. They're quippy. I'm not sure I'm selling the quippiness. Hey, you, kid. Adult. So you're back, eh? Yes, Mr. Penderson. Didn't last long, eh? No, Mr. Penderson. You get a job yet? I've only been back for 24 hours. Yes, I'm the mayor now. Huh, couldn't do worse than the current one. And I've ordered your house to be bulldozed. What? Finishing the job you started? I hope you enjoy living in the woods. Those eggs took the paint off the vinyl siding. Scavenge food can mean with the beasts, Mr. Penderson. Watch yourself, little miss. Little effing miss? No one's forgotten who you are and what you did, you know. They may act like they have, but that's just small town plate right there. Is that what this is? Small town plate's all you got, kid, so watch it. Well, that was really interesting, but I need to go listen to my cells die. Ah. Wow, well, small town, town plate sucks. Imagine living in a small town. That guy's definitely not a serial killer. Probably not. Does May also never get the groceries? <laughs> well, to be fair, her mom never asks her to. Who's a Penderson? Is Ken Penderson someone? That sounds familiar. Big city cold indifference is ideal. Yeah. I'm walking here. This is fine, right? Oh, is Ken Penders the Sonic dude? Oh, that is him. I thought maybe that was the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ken Penders. Yeah, he's a, an interesting can of worms if you're into the old uh, the Sonic Archie comics at all. Which, theoretically, I'm not, but I still know about him, so... Uh, this was, what you're doing on my port This is my property. But it's my street. You ain't changed since you was a kid. Damn right, sir. What's it like being back? Well, I just got home, so... Just, like, taking it all in. Feel like anything's changed? Nah, not really. Same old, same old. Same people, same streets, same trees. I wish I could get away. Where would you go? Uh, wanna go out to the ocean. Get a stable job that pays worth a damn. Make a jewelry out of things I find on the beach and sell them. And do karaoke every night. Can I come visit? Can you karaoke? Does it have to be any good? Don't matter, girl. Just gotta show up. That was a cool jump, eh? Did you like that? It's kind of cool, eh? I think me would be pretty good at karaoke. The legal owner of Knuckles but Green. Yes, the the whole thing is. He has like one of those proprietary species that aren't echidnas, they're like echidnas spelled wrong, 
like echinidneas or like within a, a glottal stop in there. And like he he has the legal right to his own like weird echidna verse that isn't officially Sonic but is also obviously Knuckles the echidna. It's very strange. That's Ken Penders, by the way. There's this depressed lad. Looks like Birdly. Can't talk to him though. Uh, this is B's apartment, right? The apple bomb. Don't talk to Birdly. Archie failed to keep track of its documents, so he legally owns hundreds of Sonic OCs. <laughs> That's really fucking funny. Yeah, he just like sued Archie and because they screwed up so colossally on their bookkeeping he actually won and just got the copyright to half of the comics. Fucking hilarious. My god. What kind of weather did I miss? This is nuts. Oh well, I wasn't going to church anyway. Oh, this is the path to the church which has been destroyed by torrential rain I guess. That probably is birdly. I don't know. This this is it's a pretty hometown like town. Maybe not quite the same, but this also doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd move into. Like Birdly would have had to move into this fucking possum springs from hometown. No one's moving here. <clears throat> That's a normal ass cat. That's fucked up. That's like Bojack Horseman. Oh, that, that's not a real guy either. Town center family practice. Where's it hurt? It's a doctor office. Uh, oh, this is where B uh, lives and exists and works. <clears throat> uh, or is it? Oh, yeah, the old pickaxe. Yeah, it is. It's Halloween themed. Ooh. Hey, killer. Uh, don't call me that. Who are you? Uh, Lorien. How do you even know about the killer thing? It was a big deal, even to us middle schoolers. Hmm, killer. May Killer Borovsky, terrifying. Animals and furries? It's fucking avant garde, I know. This is the part of hometown you can't see, right? The, in like the um, the time space gap as you go through the screen transition and it canonically skips half the town this is what's in the gap there <laughs> may the killer or no Jeff the killer Borovsky may Jeff the killer Borovsky that was a long time ago and what did the middle schoolers say you put him in the hospital and no one knows why. Did you like to have it coming or something? No. Our mothers told us not to talk to you because no one knew when you were gonna do it again. Well, say hi to your mom for me. She sounds lovely. Oh, she's gone. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Yeesh. That's a fucking depressing ass conversation to have with <laughs> some random teenager. May Jeff Radiation, the killer Borovsky. <clears throat> I think I have a great uncle or something on this. Uh, yep, yeah, there you go. Anselm Borovsky. Anselm. Even in life he was tragic. Anselm, seeker of darkness, Borovsky. There's the party barn that Angus no longer works at. What the fuck? The wildlife is nuts in here. There's a raccoon. There's like seven squirrels. How many fucking squirrels are in this town? That raccoon is blitzed the fuck out. They're, they're supposed to be nocturnal. That guy's just wandering around. <clears throat> Probably hung over. Oh, Lori has more dialogue. Okay. Duncan on the ancestor spirits. Goddamn right. She articulated a gravestone with her mouth. That's fucking impressive. I wish I could do that. Cat 
camo jacket fox man. There's probably a deer hanging in this guy's garage, uh, bleeding out. It happens. Video outpost two. Oh. Oh, he when he said that earlier, he was just really saying it's like Ice E's pizza. What is even? That's not even a pun. Why did they do that? Ooh, cat kitty, kitty, piss, 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 piss. Kitty, come back. Oh. There we go. Psst, psst, psst. Oh, it's a <laughs> mere holiday. Can I help you? I don't think so. <laughs> You're beyond help now. <laughs> okay, Angus isn't working here today. Can I help you? I don't think so. There are two endings in this game. Social Security Administration next to Past Abilities Family Italian Restaurant. Okay, it's a bit ominous. The fucking feds next door. Social Security. Wait, is this uh, the welfare office? I'm not sure what the terminology is exactly referring to. It seems like the kind of town that would have a, a robust welfare office. This is fun. There's Alex. Hey, what is this platform? Is it a subway tunnel or it's... There's a river. Like, what the fuck is this? Is this from, like, back in the coal mining days? They'd bring, like, barges of coal back in this fucking tunnel here? Who knows? This makes you want to play Night in the Woods yourself? Well, apparently I was feeling the urge. This is the first time I've properly played it myself. And it's... I was curious what it would be like. It's nice getting back to it. Oh, hey, May. Um, uh, do I know you? I don't know if you remember me, Miss Rosa. Um... I knew your grandfather. Visited you the day after you were born. You were so small. I guess some things don't change, huh? How did you know Granddad? I'm here most days. Why don't you stop by sometime, and I'll tell you all about him. Things you might not know. All right, you got my interest. Sweet, curious child. Spiel a pierogi. Delicious pretzels. The whole town is an American Rust Belt town with its prosperous days long behind it. In real life, they're all kind of miserable like this. I'm aware of that. Yeah, this town is um, quite realistic in its in its own way. I'm not sure the triple jumping is realistic, though. Pierogi. I wish I had a pierogi. Better take shelter, here comes the smelters. No use hiding, smelters will find you. Oh, the, the, the yeek voice is totally incongruous for this guy's apparent character. But I'm sticking with it anyway. Can I do the jump? Aw, oh, invisible wall? No bueno, man. Where's burger pants? I think Greg is, everyone is burger pants. Literally everyone in this town is burger pants. Just by default. At least everyone may knows. They're just sad furries who work minimum wage jobs and don't go to college. I just want my computer. I need the internet. It's more important than whatever's out there. This town is all of Burger Pants' brain cells. <laughs> He's just simulating the entirety of Possum Springs constantly. At all times. Everyone is Burger Pants deep down in some form, right? If you look deep enough within yourself, you'll find a Burger Pants looking back. No exceptions. Uh, do you want to say hi to Greg again? Greg is fun. Greg is so much 
there's so much Greg in this Greg that he put two G's in his name so he can Greg while he Gregs. No, three G's. There's like a, an extra G at the end though, is the point. Hey, May. I got cups on my ears. Wow. Well, why? I was thinking about how they have beaches in uh, Bright Harbor. And then I was thinking about the ocean. And then I put cups on my ears. And then it sounds like the ocean. Wow, dude, you took me on a journey there. Uh, speaking of, uh, nothing, I guess. Do you know where I could find Angus? At work, in the video store. Uh, what do you want Angus for? Got computer problems. Figured he might know a thing or two. He's a hacker. Really? I'm pretty sure he hacks. Wow. Ah, uh, cool dude. I'll catch you later. Definitely. I'm so glad you're back. Love Grig. <laughs> His eye cries a little bit to track you, then just gives up. He's like, oh no, I wasn't looking at you. Oh no, I wasn't looking at you. I'm not actually, I'm not, I'm not staring at you or anything. No. -uh. Fiasco. The triple F. It stands for uh, fuckers, fucking, and fucks. And there's red and green flavor. Very Delta Rune coated. Snakeums. Crunch stir angry pepper. <laughs> there's a similar sense of humor to uh, the fucking like Icy's Pizza Toby Fox bullshit. The, the uncanny corporate serial mascots and some such. Yeah, Angus is a hacker and then he knows how to use inspect element to get past the fucking cookies pop up on uh, Tumblr or whatever. A click clack. Okay, can't go in there. So I think I had to trigger the Angus cutscene by talking to Greg and then go back to the video stop. I heard you like Greg, so we put Greg in your Greg so you can Greg while you Greg. I'm Gregging out! Gregging so hard right now. Can I help you? Where's Angus? Oh, he works day shift. Is it day? I got here early. Any idea where he is? I assume he went home. He lives next door. Go inside and ring the buzzer. Wait, why does everything you say sound like a question? Do they say you do the same thing? I just didn't comment on it. Really? Yeah? Huh? <laughs> okay. He knows how to give himself a million cookies and cookie clicker. <laughs> Angus would not be on Tumblr. Yeah, he's more of a... He's probably on some like fucking IRC forum that's used exclusively for War Thunder aficionados. Like the really nerdy, like military otaku uh, War Thunder guys. That's the the immediate impression I get anyway. He does wear like a fedora. It's the party barn. He's definitely on Discord. Oh yeah, for sure. But you know, that's that's barely a social media. That's just like a a little chat for him. You know, or I guess an IRC for him is literally the same thing. But. Um, I don't think I can go in here. Angus would leak classified Pentagon papers about military aircraft. Yeah, he's that guy for sure. I'm not sure where he got the military papers, but he probably would if he could. Fat pocket. Pawn shop. Oh. For some reason, my mind went to, like, hot pockets. Like, they sell really big calzones here, but no, it's a pawn shop. These are your food groups. You get your um, your welfare office, your pawn shop. There's probably like a money mart somewhere around here, and the liquor store. Just like your you know one and done pipeline for small town depression. Uh, what the fuck is this? I love wh whoever the fuck decided that this needed to be a mechanic. I really love it. 
just like pawing everything, running your grubby little fingers over every surface. Slimy. OMG, what if May was a slug cat instead of a cat cat? Wouldn't that be PogChamp? Yeah, there's the Casey missing poster. Casey Hartley, 19. Was he 19 when he left town, or is he, is, does the poster update itself in real time? Uh, of Possum Springs, last seen at dusk of June 27th, walking westward along the tracks behind the former food donkey. He was wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, jeans, and a black canvas shoes. A, a bit gothic. A little bit emo, maybe. Maybe even Midwestern emo? Hmm. If you have any information as to the location of Casey Hartley at any time, his last known sighting, um, since his last known sighting, please contact the Possum Springs Police Department immediately. Tim's landscaping? Air City landscaping? Firewood for sale. I have too much firewood! Even know how? Okay. What the fuck does that say? There's too much gloom to read the sign. Jimmy Don... Donny? The signal... The... The singing repairman? Exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> okay. Katie Washington has never lost a child. What the fuck? Harfest. 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 Sounds like a... I still, I'm still on the Undertale AU brain rot. That's the kind of shitty name that someone would give an Undertale AU. Harfest. Possum Springs Annual Harvestacular. Celebrate the fall colors with your neighbors. Rides, contests, food games, the annual crazy costume parade. October 21st to 24th. Towny Center. Sponsored by the Possum Springs Chamber for Commerce, Blessed Rest Funeral Parlor. <laughs> Cat Catracer and Catracer Attorneys and Ham Panther. <laughs> Why is that so fucking funny? The town festival sponsored by a food, like a, a funeral parlor and Walmart, dude. <laughs> I guess it fits for Halloween at least. Spooky haunted f uh, funeral parlor. There's no way he just went missing. Did he get sucked into the train tracks? Like, I don't know. You love this game. I like it too, I'm glad. I like this game. Do yeah, those funeral parlor guys know how to live it up? Well, their job is to throw parties. Oh wait, I can interact? Whoa, dude, this is interactive now. Unfortunately, it's back to the C button, which is... Oh, I can, I can use arrow keys instead. Fuck, they have gravity though? Dude, it's like fucking physics. Shit moves in a parabolic arc. Oh. Oh man, it bounces. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, this is precious. This is gameplay right here. Fucking Kino. Uh, what does this poster say back here? I can't move it. More like awesome springs! <laughs> More like I'm going to kill myself. Oh, I can't move these, they're pinned. This guy's freaking out because of the firewood, but I can't read it. Let's put the yarn ball front and center in, in pride of place. There we go. What's the deal with Rust Belt Towns? It's literally a cemetery on the poster. Well, they have to advertise their local businesses. The A major one of which seems to be the funeral parlor. If not for the endless uh, decay of the human body and entropy, um, this town would have a significantly less strong economy. Bum, 
They paid a non-profit consultant $10,000 to come up with that slogan. <laughs> I bet. Isn't that the same joke I was making about the town in uh, Deadly Premonition? Where they, they paid a graphic designer $5 million to come up with their logo and they, then they used it for like three signs in a row because they just wanted to use get their money's worth, you know? Is that a tombstone back there or some sort of like Shinto shrine? Could be either. Um, I want to get up on... I know there's like a, a secret area. There's a whole other side of town just on the power lines. You got to be cool to get up there though. This is fine. Oh yeah, New Zealand spent like 20 million dollars designing a flag. I, I've heard of that, yeah. I, I don't know how the fuck that happens. Getting a logo design can be kind of pricey, but I, don't, I have no fucking idea how you spend a, a million dollars on that. Unless you're the Pepsi Universe guy. <laughs> that, that whoever the fuck spent like four years making a, this cultish Pepsi Bible to redesign the Pepsi logo. <laughs> if anyone hasn't heard of that, look into it, because I can't really even explain it. You just have to sort of see it. You discovered this game when you were too young? That can happen, yeah. I definitely didn't appreciate most of what it was getting at when I saw it, when I, because that was back in 2017. A lot of the uh, socio-economic themes, let's say, went over my head a little bit. But I got the vibe of it, and I got the fact that the characters were, you know, empathetic and interesting and stuff. And sometimes that's enough. And of course it's a Lemon Demon song, yeah. Redesign your logo. Arnold Applebaum. Owned a mining company like a thousand years ago. And said he was a crook who hated the unions. But we did get a library. That got turned into apartments. Shoutouts to that, fucker. Can I stand on here? No. It's making noise. Is the game volume high enough, by the way? I turned it down pretty far. Did you see what happened to the Patreon logo? Yes. Patreon is on an eternal quest to make its logo. It, it wasn't bad enough, put it that way. The, the CEO had a... He woke up at 4 in the morning in a cold sweat, rolled out of bed onto the floor, hyperventilated. Um, took a, a mescaline popper and then decided that the Patreon logo was still not bad enough and he immediately called up their graphic designer to make it worse. Uh, and they succeeded. It's really impressive actually how fucking ugly they've managed to make that logo. Ghosts. Ghosts? Spooky. Can we slide the ladder? I'll turn it up a tiny bit. I think I, I turned it down a little bit too far. I'll put it up to like 12 from 10 on the volume mixer. Um, I should check the journal. Woo! Okay, we unlocked the clothing ghosts. Textile spirits. I'll start from the beginner. The beginner, okay? I mean, the, the beginning. Mom. Dad is still funny. There's a bunch of fucking dinosaurs, I guess? How the hell did you draw a space... Oh, it's a space dragon. Okay. I forgot about this aspect of the game. The little, uh, the diary. That's cute. Thought. This place is falling apart. Glass factory is a big skeleton. What is a glass factory like? I wonder what you do at a glass factory. I guess you just pour molten glass into sheets and they cool down and that makes glass. Kind of interesting, I guess. I also wonder what makes a, a glass factory go out of business. I don't know the exact economic principles underlying this, but it seems like if you have a factory that knows how to make glass, 
then you can just keep making glass and selling it for money. I wonder how it goes out of business. Greg rules. He's a, a rebel without a cause, and he with a fucking leather jacket and a little switchblade. Because he's just that anarchist and cool. Do I wanna die anywhere else? China manufactures it for cheaper and undercuts you. I see. Back where I grew up, there was a huge steel mill that got abandoned, says Chat, mostly because it's cheaper to get steel overseas. Hmm, yeah, that sucks. There's probably, uh, a lot of, uh, certain literature you could read about the underlying causes and implications about that. Gregory's Pizza Scale. Too fancy is fancy. Okay. Normal delivery frozen, cheap, bad. I'm not sure there's a lot of very cogent information in the scale. It's a bit tautological, but it's it's nicely drawn at least. Arm, chopped. Army jacket on sidewalk. <laughs> it's an army jacket, you get it? Because <laughs> it's on an arm? <laughs> I just fucking kicked that acorn down. I'm killing people on the street. They're getting acorns landing on their heads and breaking car windshields. I'm a fucking menace. This looks like, just because of this little door, it's making me think of that one of the sets in the room. The one that Tommy Wiseau keeps walking out of. I did not hit her. I did not. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. Oh, hi, Mark. Like that. Like Tommy Wiseau would come out of this door for sure. Nice landing. Oh, hi, Greg. I did not hit her. Okay, church machine is still broken. Where the fuck does Angus live? Was he at the uh, at the apple bomb? But I didn't check the the, the door. <laughs> the room stream we're in. When? Oh, he <gasps> wait! Did I just get ping ponged back and forth? <sighs> Fucking asshole game! <clears throat> You're tearing me apart, Lisa. You're tearing me. I feel like I used to be able to do a better Tommy. I dressed as Tommy for Halloween one year because I, I forgot to make a costume that my friend bailed me out. He's like, I have a Tommy Wiseau cosplay lying around. You gotta wear it. <laughs> so, I tried my best. That wasn't to go trick-or-treating to specify. That was uh, like a, a university Halloween party. Be a bit of a weird vibe to go out trick-or-treating as Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> As like a, a 15 year old or something. Did you slather yourself in grease to look shiny? Uh, no, not not quite. Um, I didn't have time to dye my hair with shoe polish, but I did get two belts to fit in my pants. That's the key. Tommy Wiseau wears two belts like a JRPG protagonist. Oh hi, Mark. Uh, I was allowed to come in, which probably means he lives here. Greg and Angus, someone, um, I'm amazed that so many doctors live in this town. It seems a bit like low rent for that. Anyway. Oh, there's this fucking busted. What? There's no button. Ah, uh, there's gotta be some way to make this work. Oh, there we go. It short circuits. Hello? Hello? Hello. You're not Angus. Who is this? Who are you? May Barovsky. What are you selling? You get a lot of people selling you stuff. Hello? Well, that didn't work. Who's this? Hello, Angus? You love the voice? Oh, I'm glad. 
Are you searching, my child? This is Toriel. Yeah, for Angus. You can search all you like for your Angus. Everyone has a different Angus. For some, Angus is a happy marriage. For some, a good career. For some, a fancy car. My Angus is a guy named Angus. I uh, lives here. My child, no Angus will ever compare to the one true Angus, the Lord God above. Okay. Have you ever encountered God this day? Wait, I'm getting fucking Jehovah's Witness as the door-to-door -door person? Has, has that ever happened before? Doing a cold call to someone's house and they're the Jehovah's Witness? And like, they stuck the foot in their own door and don't let you leave? Like, what? Uh, look, my mom works at the church. Uh, I'm in the club by default. <laughs> the rear Jehovah's reversal? <laughs> the rear Jehovah's suplex. Has anyone seen those animations, like the, the uh, Ultra Kill fan animations of like Jesus Prime as the uh, Act 3 super boss? <laughs> they dub over some rant. It's time for you to feel some Holy Spirit. Uh, who's this? Mm, yes? Uh, hi, Angus. Angus, you say? Dude, it's me. Tell me about yourself, Maybelline. This isn't Angus. Would you like it to be? This guy's fucking zonked. Uh, nope, bye. Okay. Uh, what if you just stick your finger in the... in the hole and take the pain? Uh... Maurice! May. Angus? May! Yeah. Y you're not Angus. And you ain't Maurice! Well, I'm glad we sorted that out. Okay, only, only one left. Hello? 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 Uh, I'm looking for Angus. Any idea where Angus lives? I believe he's at number two. Uh, written on the button, I think. It looks, uh, broken. I think the little guy, he lives with, uh, nicked it. Oh no, kicked it in? <laughs> the little guy he lives with <laughs> kicked it in. <laughs> he's just a little guy. Greg? Or something. How? Beats me, kid. I just live here. Fucking Greg. Do I have to find, like, a paper clip and stick it in there like I'm playing an adventure game from 1995? It's impressive to kick in the button. Yeah, like, look how high that is. Look how long May's legs are compared to how high that button is. It would have had to be, like, a flying drop kick. Well, actually, May's got the vert. Yeah, May could pull that off pretty easily because she can jump six feet in the air, but... That's pretty impressive regardless. Your husband's just a little guy, isn't he? Columbo. There's one more thing, sir. I was wondering if I could kick the button on your elevator in. It's just for shits and giggles. My wife's a huge fan of elevators. Can I just not take the fucking stairs? I guess it's locked. That's how apartment buildings work, isn't it? Just stick your finger in, really? I'll, I'll give it a try. I did try that before, though. What? There's no button. Ah, uh, there's gotta be some way to make this work. It's not gonna work. Is there a dead pixel? No, that's a circle. I've never seen a circular pixel before. I did try all of them. I'm gonna go talk to Greg. He probably knows. Oh wait, you do have to- oh, when the spark, you stick your- I didn't know you could move your hand when it was, uh, in the cutscene there. I never tried. So, that arm, huh? Yeah, geez, uh, what the hell? What do you think happened? 
I don't know. Uh, how does an arm end up on the sidewalk? In Possum Springs. I mean, kind of cool, but creepy. And like two doors down from our apartment. Yeah, you live in town center now, huh? Or towny century. Oh, <laughs> that's how they pronounce. Okay, I got you, mate. I got you, mate. Yeah, you live in towny century now, huh? Yeah, we live next door. <laughs> Man, you've been away for a long time. I have. You up for uh, hanging out later? So much to catch up on. Nah, I got dinner with the family. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? A friendly thing. This calm and German voice is strange. <laughs> is it six o'clock yet? Is it six o'clock yet? It's not six o'clock. Or maybe it is. Maybe I've been doing this for two hours. Okay. So Greg doesn't have the button lodged on his shoe like an adventure game. Let's try the uh, self-immolation technique. Ideal. Hello. Uh, who is this? It's me, May. May? Yeah, May. I just got electrocuted. Oh, yeah, it's fiddly. And there's no button. Yeah, you can, like, stick a screwdriver in and, uh... Oh, well, it's too late now. Uh, come on up. <laughs> Minus one out of nine lives. Well, she already almost died on the way here, so she's down to seven now. How you doing? Fuck, he's big. Look how tall he is. Holy shit. Whoa, come right in. Hey, dude. Uh, welcome to our apartment. I could have been my into my own. I could have been in my underwear. Hey, dude. Uh, don't wear pants on my account. Why was the door unlocked? Congrats on finding my man. Says Shiny Galaxy for two dollars. Shoutouts to your man, Angus. He's a bear. <laughs> One might say he's a gay bear. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Greg always forgets to lock it. Gre Greg's at work if you're looking for Greg. I was actually looking for you. My laptop's messed up and I thought... What's wrong with it? Lots of things pop up when I turn it on. What uh, kind of things? Uh, you know, things uh, about things, not for kids' things, eh? Uh, nothing, just, just things. Okay, well, you probably have some, uh, adware or something on your computer. Probably reckless downloading. Or, uh, clicking on sites that you should never click on. <laughs> As she doesn't make eye contact. Okay. My first computer was, like, this, uh, Intel Pentium piece of shit, and... I think I was pretty okay with it, but my brothers literally destroyed it. What I assume was like just downloading, trying to download Minecraft mods or some shit, and just clicking yes to like every download link, just like spamming every download button on the site. That computer, like, it was so fucked by the time we stopped using it. It, it took literally 10 to 20 minutes to boot up, and it was just like a wall of pop ups. It was just loading gigabytes of adware on startup every time. It was completely toast. and it ran Minecraft at a stable 10 FPS at tiny render distance. It was great. Ten minute boots, just how old Dells are. Yeah, maybe. I doubt the uh, half of the hard drive being occupied by malware was helping though. It's the internet, stuff happens. Oh, uh, let me see what I can do. Oh, okay. I got something for you. Plug this into any USB port and restart. Should clear you right up. It might delete some of your old files, though. Wow, thanks, dude. No problem. Gonna head home. Uh, see if your magic works. It's not magic. It's just ones and zeros. 
and we're just atoms. And our perception of reality is just chemical reactions. Take those away, and poof, there goes the universe. Wow. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go, okay? Just gotten existential out of nowhere there, Angus. Keep it in your pants, dude. Greg is canonically a short king. We stand short king Greg Fox. Uh, thanks for the $2 as well. My aunt once downloaded a thing on her computer that was supposed to protect from viruses, but it was just a virus that made her wallpaper completely black and showed a rectangle in the corner. <laughs> what the fuck is the point of that virus? You're not even going to like mine crypto or anything. It just like make the wallpaper shitty. Great. Good, good virus there. Angus gives out antiviruses like candy. He also sells ecstasy on the side, but mostly anti antivirus USBs. He's sciencey and edgy, but in like an understated way. He's not edgy. I think he's just kind of, kind of awkward. Wait, did I talk to Dad? Hey, Dadders. Why, if it isn't the mayor of Possum Springs herself, what did you get up to today? Hung out with Angus a bit. You remember him? Oh yeah, I like Angus. He's smart. In the old days, I used to work out with his dad. I know they fe um I know they fell in some hard times after we all got laid off. I used to see him at the bar. Yeah. After I stopped drinking, I didn't really see him as much. I wonder how he is. I wonder as well. I don't remember if you ever see uh, Ingus's dad in this game. The irony poison disaffected youth demographic. Too true, Pidge. Angus is the kind of guy to call water dihydrogen monoxide during chemistry class. Actually, Jimbo, you'll find this is iodated table salt. This thing really goes off. Ra oh, this thing goes off randomly every month or so. A little wooden duck pops out, makes the weirdest sound, scares Dad half to death every time. Used to joke it was Granddad getting even with him from beyond the grave. The ghost duck. Classic feature of any uh, suburban home. If I jump up, I can be part of the photo again, but with my head even bigger? That's a win in my book. Is the day over now? It looks like it's nighttime outside. Let's see if this Angus fix works. Can't get any worse, at least. I guess it could be on fire. Uh, anyway. Oh my god, it's fixed. I guess it turned out uh, okay then, for your computer. Yeah, it did, thanks. We have, like, pester chum on the sides. I put something else uh, on your drive. You remember uh, Demon Tower? Oh wow, yeah, I used to play that all the time, like 10 years ago. I've been playing again. They kept updating it. You can grab your old save from their server and start right where you left off. Ooh, cool. You should check it out. We can talk Demon Tower sometime. It's really cool still. I'm deaf doing this. Aw, oh, thanks, Angus. Tip's hat. <laughs> you got off that porn? <laughs> Fucking Greg. Hey, you get that porn off your laptop? I heard you broke it with so much porn. Dude, you know it. <laughs> Rick Rikage told me that... But, sorry. I feel like I have to read Greg's dialogue fast, which often makes it hard to actually read the dialogue. It's, it's a... It's a catch-22. Another funny thing about computers I had to deal with was what I think was a Windows bug where there was a small bluish rectangle that sh followed... or that showed up on my screen from time to time. You have a thing for rectangles, the real problem in your family. Maybe it's a generational curse. Have you considered that? Demon Tower. Rick Rukage told me that before the internet died... No, sorry. Okay, gotta take another run at this. Rick Rukage told me that before the internet, they'd hide porn in hollow logs in the woods. Yeah, that was a thing, right? Be awkward if you were hiking out to the porn. 
and some dude was already there, and you're like, sup, dude? I guess we were both here for the porn. Why did I fucking read that so weird? I bet that happened. You know it did. I bet they became friends. Uh, porn log bros forever. So, dude, you're coming to the party tomorrow, right? What party? Up in the state forest. Lots of people from uh, school and stuff this weekend. Cool people. The big fire, snacks, the beers. Girl, you know I will. Girl, I'm so excited. Woods are so fun at night. <laughs> Just fucking roll credits. Yes, this is the canonical night in the woods. I, I vaguely recall this. I think one of the Azzy Pants fix was actually... I don't know if it was based on it, but it, it featured something very much like this. And I think that's the one that also had um, May Borovsky as, as one of the insert characters. Maybe Remnants was also like that. Like um, the sort of bonfire party in the woods. That might just be a general trope in small towns. Like maybe everyone just does that. I didn't really grow up in that small of a town, but I'm sure it's a thing. <laughs> when it said girl, you know I was like, Greg is a male name, right? Yes. <laughs> Very confusing to little Timmy playing this in 2017. What did she mean by this? I'm going to get so wasted. There are no laws in the woods. Cool. Well, you should ask uh, B if she can drive us. What? No, I, I don't think she likes me. Nah, dude, she's cool. She drives us all the time unless it's borrow her car. Stop by her store tomorrow and ask, please... Okay, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I love we got Pester Chum. Uh, or is this... Are these the four dudes? Okay, that's probably me. That's Angus, because he likes science. That's Greg, because it's a picture of Greg. And, uh, Les Danses de Cerie. Cerie. La, la danse du cerceau. Something in French, which I'm by process of elimination is probably B. Long dead skeleton girlfriend EP. That sounds like B. I can't even fucking read that. Something up chatterbox. It's the turquoise on blue. With um, is that a fucking a turnip? What is that? Bright Harbor Gazette, Secretary of Education. Having public schools is like having public hamburgers. That's insane. Everyone should buy their own hamburgers. I really didn't get that this game was fucking communist in the in back in the day, did I? That really went over my head, huh? Demon Tower is just spurred if you play it the world ends. <laughs> I guess I better not. Click everything. Oh, they dub in the sounds. That's kind of nice, actually. Donut Wolf. Fantastic yums. Who the fuck has a donut mascot as a desktop background? What are you doing, May? Is this like some sort of ironic statement that was funny three years ago, then you forgot what the joke was? Away message. Born to lose. Country trash proud drummer. Skate and destroy. Skate to create. Bound for glory. Holy fuck. That's just like a black hole of cringe, May. God, that sucks, May. Wow. Okay, that, that button doesn't do anything. That one doesn't do anything. None of these do anything, actually. It's just whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sharko. Okay, we're playing a, a roguelike top-down game type thing, I believe. In the age of blood, a pale one will rise, wielding naught but a simple blade. Who dares to climb the steps of... Ancient Doom Spire Deem Demon Tower Demon Tower Begin Part Four Slaughter of the Blood Thief Histories of Suffering and Perseverance Okay, what are the controls for this? Space okay, hyperlight drifter dash, got it. The dash has to recharge. 
C is still the fucking attack button? Are you kidding me with this shit? Oh wait, no, F is also an, a valid attack button. Is there stamina? Yeah, there's a weird stamina system in this game. There's a dodge. My hands are cramped together right now. <laughs> That's a life potion, I guess? Yeah, I don't need that. Okay, this is the real shit. Random access mayhem type beat, am I right? Everything having a cooldown feels pretty fucking bad, not gonna lie. Like stamina management in a like a top-down Zelda type game. Not my favorite. What? Ooh, I got the red key. That's a Binding of Isaac item. The small gasters contained in the key. There's no like dash slash it seems, it's just very much a slash and a dash independent of each other. Ow. Oh, the necromancer, oh he's dead. This guy reminds me of, I was trying to think what this character reminded me of, and it's fucking Zote. It looks like Zote the, uh, the Mighty or whatever. Oh, interesting. They got square walls, but round physics. Wide hitbox, round physics. Left beef, kind of, type thing. Can these guys attack? They did go pretty hard on this game within a game for no apparent reason. Oh wait, there's a door and I have the key. I can just leave now. This goes on for a while. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm probably going to die pretty quick. Um, and if I don't, I'll throw for content, as they say in the biz. Oh, it's... Oh. Wait, was that a boss? The fuck was that? I don't know what just happened there. The cellar. Oh, was that an NPC? Shit, I'm getting big, you just killed these, the shopkeeper vibes from that. Oh well. <laughs> I The game conditioned me to not interact with things besides pressing the attack button, so... Really, your honor, it's not my fault. It was operant conditioning. I got two dashes now, though, that's pretty sick. but not any more stamina. I can quit any time the progress is saved. Excellent. This music is like super fake E1M1. Or just the Doom theme, I guess. I don't know if it's actually E1M1. Do I have like a ductile or, or anything? Maybe I unlock one. I gotta play enough of this that I can uh, talk to Angus about it, you know? You gotta be up in the vocabulary. Like Isaac head to Isaac head communication. 
big. These enemies are easier than the last level. The fuck? Oh, you can't touch that. It's bad. Got a dash. Ow. Heh. I'll do one more level and then I'll stop. God, this guy's fucking geriatric. He gets tired so quickly. Ouchie, ouch. Oh my god, he's comboing me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you get nine lives. I just realized. It's a funny joke. That's a pointless area. That's the door, but I don't have the key. God, my hands are cramping up in this position. I am my left hand is on Wasta and space, and my my right hand is just pressing the F button. Because that's the closest thing to an attack key that I have access to. Wait, where's the treasure chest. Is it up here? Maybe over here? Oh, here it is. The secret room. Half hour animation of opening the chest. All right, we're in business. Arrow keys work? That's true. But I have to use X to dash then? It's probably better than the alternative, you're right. Hmm. Okay, hopefully a real boss fight this time. Ow. rhythm to it. Oops. Okay, if you press the wrong button, you die. There we go. I didn't even have to throw. I'm just bad. I'm playing Night in the Woods? No, I'm playing Demon Tower. Surrender to the horror. Always. Always. You know it. How do I leave? I peeped the horror. Alright, that was a productive day, May. We walked around town. We uh, stuck our finger into a light socket and zapped ourselves. Got our uh, computer cleansed of the porno viruses that we filled it with in college. Uh, we played a top-down roguelike of some sort for about 10 minutes. Oh, music? Oh, yeah. I could play some bass, but which song? Nah, later. Maybe. Oh, I selected the wrong option. Nah, I'm not going to replay the song. Doing the, the music is fun, but it's sort of like an awkward period where I can't really read chat, so... I'm not going to just replay it frivolously. Oh, shit. I pressed the wrong button and now we're... never mind. I have to try to sing this time, I guess. No matter how bad it gets. Mark Corners, where we used to play. Must trace our tired old feet in the circles as we pace our time away. Wanna die anywhere else? If only I could die anywhere else. 
so come with me, let's die anywhere else. It's almost working. Anywhere, just not here. Suck on this dull dead end street. Where all the new kids come to play. We're stuck where the past and future meet. Yeah, yeah. We're watching our Rodems drift away. Yeah. I wanna die anywhere else. If only I could die anywhere else. Come with me, let's die anywhere else. Anywhere, just not here. Once I locked into the emo voice, it became effortless. Wait, how do I send the to dusty streets, my tired old home? What was here before? No, I won't remember that I'm gone. This sucks. Die anywhere else. If it only I could die anywhere else. It just keeps going. Let me out. Come with me. Let's die anywhere else. Anywhere. Just not here. Oh no. Uh, not bad considering I don't know how to play this song. If you fucking say so, me. So it turns out it's pretty hard to uh, read the words and sing them while also looking at the other mini game. <laughs> it's the start of the sentence that's bad. Once you look at the sentence for like one second, you can memorize it and sing it. But like the first word, you're never going to have the reaction time for that. Yes, it's bedtime. You think the emo voice was Kermit? I struggle at 18 to find my place. That's just every emo song. This is lovely. It sounds kind of like Skies of Skya, some Homestuck music. What is Midwest emo? I only know MCR. I'm not really sure to be honest, but I know it's a thing. I watched someone's video essay about how Outer Wilds music takes inspiration from Midwest emo. So that means it's pretty good by default. I've also listened to some post-rock stuff that reminds me of Outer Wilds though. So I think you could, there's probably multiple influences. If emo and folk punk had a weird baby, maybe. Is Homestuck a game? Sometimes. Wait, I should check fucking Pester Chum. Oh, oh. Oh, by the way, B works. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, by the way, B works at the old pickaxe, so you can go there. Get some tools, lol. Lamau. Lamau even. Lolling. Rawful Mao. Rolling on the floor, laughing my ass off. Big axe, just go on... Uh, big axe and just go on a rampage, lol. Sounds like a good idea, Greg. I'll kill some men for you today. Laugh out loud, as the kids say. <laughs> <laughs> no more music for you. Midwest emo is where you take dialogue from a movie and try to turn the actor's delivery into chords. I have no idea what the fuck you mean by that, but it sounds accurate. Rolling on the floor laughing my axe off. Morning, mom. All day, mom. Every day, mom. Uh, what are you up to today? Greg and Angus and B are going to a party, uh, so I might go out with them. A party, huh? Look at you. Back two days and already being the social butterfly. 
Yeah, I'm in pretty high demand right now. I'm a little nervous. Does May get vulnerable around mommy? That's a nice dynamic. Oh, you'll be fine, sweetie. Get out here and mingle. Oh, get out there and mingle. Actually, I think it's mostly going to be old high school people. I wonder if Cole will be there. I always thought you were two were so cute together. Mom, no. Oh, sorry, honey. I didn't know that was still a sensitive subject. It's not. Okay, well, go out there and have a nice time, honey. I will... Uh, I, uh, I will. See you later. Yeah, I like the main mom conversations. They're quite nice. Oh, wait, someone, the, literally someone put the word dream in chat, and that made it all come rushing back to me. I had a weird Deltarune dream last night. For, I think, only the second time ever. The first time I had a Deltarune dream, it was immortalized in uh, Outsin's seminal masterpiece, the, um, the dream compilation video, where he animated a bunch of, like, random Deltarune dreams from ACDS, mostly. But this is a new one. It was weird, okay, so... It started off, it was like early in the morning, and I got the impression, I think I was Noel. That's, I, I'm not sure how I knew this, but I did. Um, and we were going into some sort of building, and I thought it was school at first. It had sort of the energy of like going to school in the morning, but it was like a small white building, like a church almost. Um, and I, we'd go in there, and there's a few of like friends with me, I think. They weren't like Chris or Susie or anything, they were just random people. I, I don't even remember who they were. Um, and we're standing around, but once we got in there, it was no longer school. It was like we were breaking into Sans's shop and stealing his money from his safe for some fucking reason. But the way that cracking the safe worked, it was like password operated. And we were choosing between a list of like four options. And they were all like shitty bone puns. And you just had to choose which, which bone pun was the most likely to be Sans's password to his safe. And I think it was... It was some fucking mini game where like the, the closer your guess was the more money you got like i don't know how the fuck that makes sense um and after that fuck do i remember what happened after that i think it got weird after that but i i can't remember the details yeah i think probably after that it transitioned it transitioned into something completely unrelated and i i'm having a hard time recalling exactly what but that was the highlight of it. It was, yeah, Sans having a safe that's a slot machine. Exactly, Molly. It's just like a mini game is stealing Sans' money, but it's... <laughs> there's no way to actually lose. The safe just gives you an amount of money depending on how good the password you put in was. Fucking based Sans. It only got weird after? I mean, it became like n nonsense, like unrelated to Delta Rune. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where I thought there was more details, but most of it was, like, inarticulate emotional uh, connotations and stuff that I can't explain, so... That's the whole dream, unfortunately. What's to the right? Oh, I can't. There's, there's a man. Will I play the game or keep talking? I think the game is mostly played by talking a lot. It's an interesting property of these sort of walking simulators. Pidge doesn't sleep enough to dream. That's a, an interesting problem to have. Oh, what the fuck is this? And if we don't start getting business in here, there ain't gonna be a Possum Springs. So we gotta do whatever we can do. To get the market to notice us. Politics. He's got a nest tie. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Yeah, so we allocate funds to preserve the statue of... Yuri, you're not hearing me. Don't tell me I'm not hearing you, Andrew. Hey, show this to Andrew. It's not of sufficient historical note. Your ass is not of his insufficient historical note. Guys, guys, stop this. This is the stoplight fight all over again. Oh yeah, and remember who won that one. Can we move on? Fine. 
Well, yeah, that's the irony poisoned disen disenfranchised adults demographic. Yeah, I don't think this dream, I don't think it was chapter 3, I think it was like another spammed and sweepstakes level event. Because I remember being really, really excited about it coming out, like almost overwhelmed with emotion for some reason. But it wasn't actually chapter 3, I don't think. All these characters represent the friend group except for May. Oh, you're just talking in terms of like furry species? I didn't really notice that, but I think you're right. Uh, I wonder if I can triple jump up there. There's probably some tech here, right? Oh yeah, that's the tech. Kunk fucker apple bottom or whatever this guy's name was. Uh, I don't think I ever read this plaque before. Arnold A. Applebaum, a father to all workers, a grandfather to their children, a great-grandfather to those children's children. It keeps going like that for a while. Erected 1910. <laughs> Erect. Yeah, you can get to the roofs, I think, if you try hard enough. Break in. Melatonin supplements gives you dreams, but they aren't good ones. I don't usually get very memorable dreams at all. Usually I, I feel like I don't dream, but that probably really just means I don't remember the dreams. It's rare that I get one that's actually uh, worth talking about. Interesting physics on those acorns. Was the dream first person? It was, yeah. I think I was Noel somehow. Me being Noel had no relevance, but I could just tell, you know? Most of your dreams are dying horribly in events related to stairs. I warned you about stairs, bro! Can I jump in this guy's head like Mario? Oh. What you doing up there? Street light got tore off in that big storm a few days back. Don't help that idiots keep jumping on it. Uh, that's a shame. Spread the word to the other kids. Ad adults. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, I didn't think so. Adults got jobs and better things to do anyway. Ah. Anyway, uh, you just tell all those other kids to lay off. Gonna get themselves or somebody else killed. Killed. My god. What kind of weather did I miss? Oh, that's the same. Did I snow grave birdly? Not in that dream. Nikaizo, was your profile picture uh, hella Jeff the whole time, or did you just change it now? I can't remember. Does anyone else have this problem? They always want to call um, Sweet Bro hella Jeff and hella Jeff Sweet Bro. Like, they look like they should be the opposite of what they are. Because Sweet Bro kind of looks like Lewis Brindley, and that makes me think of, like, Jeff is a bit more of a, a posh name than Bro, you know? I feel like um, Sweet Bro is like the more cultured of the pair. He's like the thinking man. More of these fuckers. Well, I'm just always on edge, you know. You maybe see someone to uh, talk to about this. Dr. Hank? Uh, Dr. Hank does everything and nothing. He fixed my legs last year. He treated my babies through their chicken pox and strep. I know. I just... whatever. Puffy. 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 Gonna bounce for a bit, Remnant? Alright. Your most recurring nightmare is a pulsating meaty mass that expands with each pulse in a checkerboard patterned room. That's very Lynchian, actually. You should try to see if you can find the Black Lodge in there. Um, also, that might just be the horror, you know, the one from Germa, so I'd watch out if I were you. 
It's B time. Yeah, Bill, write it up on the clock. Write it up as on the clock. She's not going to like that. I don't care if she doesn't like it. It was her fault, plain and simple. That time is extra. We charge for that. All right, then. Hey, I mean, hey, B. Hi. How's work? Stressful. End of the month's coming up. And I have to start ordering in winter stuff. Which means I have to bribe our w one or hopefully two of the guys to unload the trucks because I am not carrying in a truck full of rock salt by myself. Uh -huh. What do you want? Uh, well, Greg asked me to ask you if you would drive us to the party tonight. You know, uh, the one up in State Park. Thanks for clarifying. Otherwise, I might have been confused as to which of the dozen or so parties going down on any given night in Possum Springs you were referring to. I can just read her in my normal voice. <laughs> Sounds like my fucking script writing. Are, are you being sarcastic? I'll drive. Great, great thanks. Uh, we'll be by your house at 8.30. Be ready, or we'll go without you. Okay. Don't get lost on your way home. I know where I live. No, seriously, go home and get ready. All right, all right, jeez. How late is it today? Did I wake up at 5 o'clock again? I'm walking on the fucking counter, B. Bet you didn't see that one coming, B. Yeah, you, you got no response to that? Fucking levitating cigarette. Can't do shit about this. Can triple jump on your counter. Okay. No one expects a cat on a countertop. Oh yeah, she does do the squinty eyes. For some reason when she's falling, the eyes go squinty. Okay, nothing in there. Well, I'm not going to take her advice. I'm going to fuck around the town and do nothing of, uh, of note for just several hours. The party can't be that soon. What the fuck do you mean go home and get ready? Hey, man. How's the laptop running? Uh, really good, thanks. Uh, no, re really good. Thanks so much. Glad to be a service. So, like... Yeah. Who rents movies? How's the store still open? Who rents movies anymore? More people than you think. Older people who don't know any better. Kids who for some reason can't get something. Yeah, do you ever want to tell them? What, about the internet? About rental by mail? Yeah. Man, it's not my job to save them. I'm paid to stand here, assist when needed, take their money, and not openly judge them. I bet you're good at that, Angus. Uh, so this party tonight, huh? Yeah, should be fun. I hadn't picked you as a party person. Well, not really, but uh, parties with Greg are different. How so? You know, uh, how you just want to go and stand in the corner sometimes? Yeah. Greg's my corner. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shut up. Shut up. Stop talking about that. Yeah. That is very cute, though. I'll see you later. For sure. I'm pretty curious what it looks like to see him standing in Greg. What a fucking power move. <laughs> Just like drop down in a T pose. Hello. Hello, Mario. Hello, Zell. This guy's French. Ah, uh, hey. Who are you? Lags. Oh, uh, hello. What are you, uh... Oh, wait, there's a sign. Navy, huh? Oh, yes, man. You ever consider the future in the Navy? Like boats? 
It's a lot more than that, but yes, there are bots. The god, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> He's the army recruiter. I assume all of them are French, right? It just makes sense, right? Checks out to me. I think they're probably all French. Uh, I'm probably not joining the Navy. I, can I drive a submarine? Potentially! Oh wait, I should have made a measure head. That would have been funny. Eh, I can do that on my own. Later. You know, I don't want to intrude. But if you're someone who's maybe lacking a bit of direction, that's what brings a lot of folks to the Navy. Yeah, but I have lots of direction. Like I'm gonna hang out with friends, uh, play bass, play video games, go to sleep, etc. I guess I'm adding drive a submarine to the list somewhere. Well, just saying. I'm gonna go now. Alright, now have a good one. That's kinda how Measure Head talks. <laughs> I don't think I can really pull it off. But... Your body betrays your degeneracy. <laughs> no, I think mostly it's poverty that brings them to the Navy, says Pitch. No direction, no money. Same, same. Al Ghul. He does not sound like the Terminator. I don't think that's that's the Terminator. Fucking invisible walls. Huh. Snack the school. Military industrial complex. Yeah, that was one of the songs in that <laughs> that album that I, the fucking uh, someone randomly recommended an album on Molly's server that I've been mildly obsessed with for the last week and a bit, singing it in the shower and shit. Uh, the 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 new underscores one had a song about that I think. Be a good companion piece to this game, actually, that album. Very similar themes. Party, party, party! Jeez, dude, you're excited about this party. You're gonna be there! That's awesome! God, what a great week it's been! You're home! I think I've locked into the Greg voice. I can do it now. I'm home. You're not putting in the, uh, the effort, May. My arms are tired. <laughs> What's my favorite album? I don't really listen to fucking music. That's the problem. Um, I really was the kid who only got into music through video game soundtracks and don't really know much outside of that. But I'm also in a weird position where I grew up playing a lot of music and performing music and playing piano, classical stuff, uh, school choir, jazz band, men's choir, pit band. I did all the fucking extracurricular music stuff. Um, but I never really listened to that much music. It's a weird paradox. So, mostly if I were to write music, the inspiration I have to go off of is classical and video game. <laughs> Which is, you know, you can work with it. But it's a bit of a pigeonhole. So, so listening to a modern album was actually a bit of a, a novel experience for me, just on recommendation like that. Like, for example, I'm very, very rarely listen to music with lyrics in it because neither classical music nor video game music tends to have lyrics. So, um, I'm like inherently biased against music with words in it. I find it distracting and kind of annoying usually, so it takes a bit to push me out of the comfort zone there. Tchaikovsky remix for RAM? Potentially. Well, I'm not doing the music for RAM, but... In, in times where I have written my own music, it tends to have a... I think a lot of video game music has a classical bent to it, really. Even, like, pop music, if you want to make that case, it, it all goes back to, like, Western European classical music, but... Um, th there's definitely 
like if you go on my channel and you find one of those old songs, it was called like Lacro Sanguinea or something, the, the edgy looking one. That's like vaguely fake bro- no, actually uh, Profusions of Grandeur, that's still up, up on my page. That's a better example of a very classical sounding kind of melody, but arranged like a chip tune. Um, it's it's all very crusty and broke under the hood. But that's just because that was what came naturally to me after doing piano lessons for 10 years. Oh, I know about Brian Eno. I mean, that's that's still very much the comfort zone. <laughs> Ambient, electronic, weird stuff. I studied all that in school, even. Uh, maybe talk to Greg? Oh, no, Greg doesn't want to talk to me. That was it. That's all he had to say. His arms got tired and now his brain's turned off for the next 10 minutes while he recharges. Yeah, sorry, I sort of said the, the name of the album is Wall Socket. That was kind of important. <laughs> it's very good. It, it, it sort of caught my attention because all the, the songs were, like, cinematic. They all had their own sort of story and, like, their own aesthetic to tell that story with. And they all sounded very different and, and creative. And uh, I got I got sucked in pretty hard, actually. And apparently it's hyper pop. I, I wasn't really sure what the fuck I was listening to, but after the fact, I was like, ah, this is hyper pop. Okay. A lot of VGM is based in biblical motifs and other very traditional stuff. I don't know what biblical, I'm not sure what they meant by biblical, but yeah, a lot of early video game music, and by extension current video game music, was very classically kind of oriented. Um, I guess because of how it had to be, like you had blips and bloops on an NES, you can't write lyrics to that obviously, so you have some sort of instrumental music, you need to make melodies. Um, and I guess the, the composers just took inspiration from whatever they could. And I, I guess an effective way of making uh, ambient instrumental music that doesn't get old is to take inspiration from sort of classical stuff. Especially some of the old, like, like NES, like 3D World Runners is a good one. That's like Mozart. Straight up some Mozart shit. Uh, what was I doing again? I had one task, which was to go home, and I forgot the task because I was talking about music. But people say they like when the, the stream has banter, so I might as well lean into it. I don't gotta be self-conscious about not playing optimally in the fucking dialogue-heavy walking simulator. The Silver Surfer OST is insanely good, oh is it? I've never heard that one. You also found underscores via a random Discord message. That's that's quite funny. The there's two artists I found like that. The first of which was Ed Harrison, who makes like very, very cool like how to describe it? It's like cyberpunk breakbeat jazz music. Um, he did the soundtrack to this old Half-Life mod called Neo Tokyo, apparently. He has a couple original albums, and he seems like really obscure, but like... Someone recommended one of his albums in a Dwarf Fortress Discord server, and I, was, I immediately just fell in love with it. It's like one of my favorite albums now. Oh, I just looped around in the tunnel. Live fugue analysis? Oh, dude, I'm not good enough to analyze a fugue. You can take an undergraduate in music theory and not know how to analyze a fugue. That's like fucking postgraduate level. Fugues are scary. How advanced audio file is your setup? Not at all. <laughs> not even remotely. I wear a pair of decent headphones that I got like five years ago. I don't have any speakers. Um, I, I've never liked listening to things on live speakers. I'm used to headphones. But, um... Hey, May. What? I was just stopping by to see how you were doing. 
Why? After the other night, I mean. Why wouldn't I be fine? May a lot of things that happen around here, sometimes in town, some... What was that? Sometimes in town, sometimes out by the tracks, sometimes up in the hills. It's Macho Man? Uh, what? It's my job to make sure that folks like you never see something like that. Uh, sorry. Never see something like what you saw the other night. You're not doing a very good job at it then? Folks like you? Should I stick with Randy Savage? You're a kid, May. And you're naive. And in its own and in its own stupid way, that's beautiful. But the world isn't. And the world isn't out there for I, I, no, I, this this voice turns my brain off. I can't even read while I'm doing this. And the world isn't out there somewhere. No, it's it's mutating, it's mutating. It's it's going wrong. And the world is out there somewhere. It's here. Alright, are you gonna arrest me or something? Because I have a party to go to. Watch yourself, me. That's not the Terminator either. I really hate to see something happen to you. And being in the wrong place at the wrong time is all it takes. That's the Terminator. That's all I'm saying. That's ominous. Good night, me. There we go. Put the cookie down! Get to the chopper! Yeah. <laughs> My voice has been a bit sore this week. And it still is a little bit, but um, I'm game to push through it. I'm not feeling too bad. Stop. When's he gonna spin the sign around? Spin it around. Do it. Yeah, he did it! Alright. That's what I was waiting for. Oh, it's a cutscene. Check the notebook? I will. Hey, sweetie. Look who's home. Hey, the parents. I made tacos. Excuse me, we made tacos. Tacos? Tacos. You want tacos? Uh, I want tacos every day, all day. Of course I want tacos. The family that tacos together rocos together. The fuck does that mean, Dad? Honey, no. God, it's like the inverse Asgore-Toriel dynamic here. We have fake Toriel scolding fake Asgore for making shitty puns. Cringe. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. You've all turned against me. May, honey, do you want sour cream on your taco? I... I want... everything. Everything. Okay, okay, okay. It's go time. I got my best clothes on. <laughs> I really hyped myself up in the mirror. Uh, I should probably go make sure I don't look like a cave beast. M May your mirror doesn't work. You don't have a reflection. <laughs> oh, no it does. Looking alright. God, this shirt really accentuates my roundness, doesn't it? Oh no, I can choose. I can choose between uh, like the, the dysmorphia options or the positive options. Does the shirt accentuate your roundness? I mean, there's a picture of a big circle on it, which may in indeed accentuate the roundness, if, you if that's not what you're going for me. Um, but I'm not a fashion expert. I have the worst face. I have a nightmare face. It's very cute, me. You're objectively very cute. I'm not agreeing to that option. Uh, but you, ha you have to do some self-hate. There's got to be some self-hate involved. I think the round zero doesn't help. That's what I was saying, May. I mean, you could just go with a different shirt if you if you really feel that way about it, but... It's cool, dude. Round is okay. I need to stop le eating literally everything I see. I mean, I think you didn't even steal the pretzel from the pierogi stand, so you're in the clear, May. You're cool. And I'm being body positive, like uh, the internet said. I'm a real life person. 
and no one can prove I'm not. You can do this, people like you. Girls like us are rotten to the car. People don't like you, clearly. You don't like people, clearly. Yeah, you just don't like people. I don't like people. I'm not a people person. Just because I said that, uh, just because that online test said that your best chance at being happy is a situation where everyone already likes you, uh, but they mostly leave you alone, except when they're delivering food to you. That doesn't mean you can hide in your room and wait for that to happen. That's how hermits are made, May. And they die alone in the middle of winter, waiting for pizza from friends they don't want to see. Who cares if Cole is there? Jerk. He probably He's probably up at school or whatever. Is Cole the ex? Hmm. May, you are a fictional character in a video game. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Stop taking life so seriously. None of this exists anyway. God, Angus would say that. I'm a real Angus right now. May, you know you're basically just ones and zeros in a computer at the, at the fundamental level, right? Yeah, there's chemicals and uh, circuits and shit, yeah. He's probably at school or whatever. Prom was a mistake in like 10 different ways. It always is me. That dress, that picture under the doorway flower thing. Less uh, slow dancing than slow standing. Careful, non-touching, no smoochies. I'm so glad I'm not a teenager anymore. My breath tastes like tacos. This is a disaster. All right, what are you going to say? You're going to smooth, you're a smooth talker. You're, you're a smoothie. <laughs> that... <laughs> The fucking pupils. God, that's funny. They're putting chemicals in the small towns to make the fucking cats dysmorphic. God, he was so real for that. This is set before Rick and Morty. Don't blame Angus. Uh, don't associate the two. Hi, May. How's it going? Really? That's fascinating. Uh, that's so true. Well, uh, see you later. Okay, good. That sounds normal. No one can prove you're not normal. And really, everyone looks normal in the dark. I'm pretty sure that's the only way sex works. <laughs> We're gonna leave off on that note. This is hopeless. Well, uh, wheel me out to the curb off for garage day. Oh, jeez, they'll be here any minute. Maybe this is why B wanted us to go back home seven hours in advance. Because she knew that we'd spend um, this long staring at the mirror, wallowing in self-hatred. May in the dark probably looks like a pair of floating eyeballs. Which is kind of cool, I guess. If you're into that. Good luck, kid. I don't need luck. Good luck! Got the, the underscores. It's seeping in. It's seeping in. Good luck, final girl. I make my own luck. With a luck machine. May is lapsing into like Harrier Dubois dialogue. Oh yeah. It's the party wagon. Hey May, I think Cole might be there tonight. Yeah, I know. Jeez, sorry. I don't care if he's there. He might not be. Well, let's hope so or not. Let's hope so or not. Well, let's hope so or not. I don't even know what they're talking about. Me and Cole went out in junior year. Yeah, and it didn't work out. So let's stop talking about it. Let's... How long is this game? Long enough to reach the gra ground. Uh, 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 sorry. Abraham Lincoln attempted to possess me, but my body rejected his soul, so I had a stroke for a second. Uh... Me and the homies on the way to spend a night in the woods. That's how sex works, says Outson. I'm not sure in response to what, but it definitely is. Okay, before we have our night in the woods, I'm going to take a piss break real quick. Because I'm feeling in the mood for piss right now. Maybe I'll eat something too, who knows? Anything could happen, but I'm going to be away for uh, 5 or 10 minutes. Enjoy the background music until then.
Hey chat, I'm back with some pasta. I might just eat the pasta here for a while and interact with the scrolling messages as streamers do. Piss pasta. Exactly, you get it. What's the shape of the pasta? Um, I don't know what it's called. It's it's like if macaroni kept going. It's like a long macaroni that forms a corkscrew. It's in some sort of a savory meat sauce. It, it came with some sort of meal prep thing, but I'm not sponsored by them, so I won't tell you which one. Cavatappi, that's it. That's the stuff. It's quite nice. I hope the dipshit with the acoustic guitar has been entertaining all of you. Someone always brings a fucking acoustic guitar to these events. And maybe, maybe, etc. was tuning at one point. <laughs> Fucking guy, I swear to god. Papiri are your favorite? Is that not the plural of papyrus? Papyri? Papyri is probably a term that you need for the undertale you use. Back to that. You have more than one. I looked up yesterday, as part of my research, when the um, the original Disbelief AU was first synthesized. Um, anyone have any guesses as to the date? Two thousand and one. I was more going for like month and day kind of it was I believe October 15th it was mid-October 2015 so one month after the game came out they work quick it was that AU existed before I played Undertale Um, what, what was even more impressive, though, was that the Delta Fell AU, um, it came out literally the day after Deltarune dropped. <laughs> so, October 31st, 2018 was Deltarune, November 1st, 2018 was Delta Fell. They had their infrastructure in place by then. They, they had, they were just waiting. <laughs> they had their fingers poised over the button. Those fucking guys. What was the first disbelief media? I think that was the um, the fucking video with the the stolen SoundCloud music. Everyone knows the music, right? Um, Interstellar Retribution. Hang on, I, I can play that actually. I'll give everyone a performance of Interstellar Retribution real quick. Yes, Pidge, neurodivergence. Shit. Shit, let me try again, let me try again.
I don't know the full thing. It's that song. And it was just that. The video was that song and just like a static piece of fan art where it was like papyrus holding a big bone stick and crying or something. And that was the AU. And it wasn't an original song. It was some random piece of music from SoundCloud that they just stole without credit. <laughs> and now everyone assumes that it was made for that, the quote-unquote AU. <laughs> it's actually so fucking funny to me. <laughs> what a story, Mark. I still got pasta to eat. Hang on. Oh, I forgot to turn on my voice in good in there's my voice was crusty for a second there. Yeah, sorry about the past day ASMR. You wish there was more RAM fan fiction, but don't believe in yourself enough to write it. Well, the excuse you can use for now is that there is no uh, story in the game <laughs> or characters <laughs> to make fan fiction of. I wouldn't attempt it myself. trying you. You do you, dude. I can't stop you writing fanfiction. Make the umris of ram. Ramris. Random access outline. One day, we're gonna put characters in that fucking game. We're gonna put dialogue in that fucking game. I swear to God. We're almost done the pasta. So close. Okay, past us done. We made it, chat. Feeling energized as fuck from all that pasta. Got the carbohydrates metabolizing into glucose and ATP in my bloodstream. Let's go. You never want to show up to a, a party hungry, right? That's just bad practice. You'll, you'll get drunk way too fast. You'll throw up later. You'll feel like shit. Ah, uh, that was awful. I hate beer. I can't remember the last time I drank beer. It's not a delicious... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, pasta burp. It's not a delicious drink at all. Um, would you prefer shitty wine coolers? I think Burger Pants goes in for those. I'm a beer fan, personally. It's sort of my drink of choice. They have to get drunk. Okay, that guy looks uh, a bit despondent. There's fucking... Is that Edo Bear back there? How you doing? Is that Puro? Owl Johnson and Coon Man. Oh, here's the guitar guy. Me playing piano is the perfect background noise while you're working on a uni coding project. <clears throat> One day I'll get you your, uh, your two hour improv piano live stream. I think Mel's requested that. <laughs> They're like, yeah, Shay does that sometimes. You should do that. Just stream yourself playing piano. I'm not sure about that. 
How are these guys doing? Oh god, it's... What is that, coal? That's coal. Uh, stay by the table and drink. I don't know if I should have another drink right now. Uh, th this is depressing over here. Why are you guys standing in the darkness? <clears throat> what? Nothing. Okay, B doesn't want to talk. Something, something B. Got a cool party. Yep. Uh, who are you talking to? Not you. Like I said, why, why can't I talk to this dude? What's wrong with him? Maybe just not talk it. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing? Who, who are you? These aren't actually people, they're just cardboard cutouts. Oh, there's Inga standing in his fucking corner. Too bad I don't get a corner, eh? Where's my corner? Well tempered clavier playthrough? <laughs> A literal playthrough. Here comes the grub. Hey dudes. Yo, did you see Coles here? Oh god. You okay? Yeah, totally fine. You gonna talk to him? Yeah, sure. Why would I talk to my ex from high school who I hate? Why would I talk to him? Why would I do that? I mean, it'd, be, it'd probably be funny though. No, Chad, I'm not going to talk to my ex. I'm not going to. It, prom was shit. I hated it. I hated prom. I'm not going to talk to my ex, Chad. Okay, fine. Yeah, man. I think it's kind of a shame some of you city slickers never got the opportunity to go to these. They're the best. We, we do have these. They're just indoors. And there's no fire. But I would like to go to one of these. It looks like a good vibe. I've been to one beach fire, actually. Um, that was kind of nice. Or no, two. I guess two, technically. I've been to two beach fires. That's the closest you can do here. Yeah, man. You sure, man? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, why why should I be weird about it? Well, I mean, uh, you did write that song afterward. What, what was it called? Go Get Dead, Angel Face. Uh, uh, we don't talk about Go Get Dead, Angel Face. ACDS fire party when? Um, I can ask Wonder if her field is open to rent one day. We'd all have to like drive to the middle of Illinois um, to a field, but we could swing that. I wouldn't pay for airfare. Um, you're on your own there. Uh, can you guys believe this dude playing guitar? Yep, playing all the douchebag hits. I like this song. Is this a douchebag song? Uh, no, I don't worry about a big guy. Oh. <laughs> Angus is just into douchecore. What can anyone else say? I feel like there's a joke here with the fact that May hasn't taken a shower so far, but I'm not quite brave enough to plumb those depths. There's a douchebag like this at every party. You have no idea, Greg. Back in school, you'd always have some frat boy hanging out on the lawn, trying to look all sensitive. Why is this a douchebag song? Tell me. Tell me now. It's a four chord song. Ba -ba. Oh no, it's it's actually not. It's the, the heart and soul progression. Da -da 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 Totally is, you know. I guess I have to go talk to my weird ex. Oh god, it's... 
Maybe I need another drink. This is definitely the right decision. Get plastered and shit yourself. Uh, I guess beer is just one of those horrible things adults do. Like doing taxes and having babies. It's okay, May. You don't have to do either of those things if you don't want to. Hey. Uh, May? Is that you? Wow, uh, how are you? I'm May. Uh, hi, I'm May. How's it going? I just asked you that. Uh, I mean, I, I'm fine. Uh, I'm just back uh, visiting for the weekend. Really? That's fascinating. I, I guess. I think that's the first time in a while uh, anyone has called my life fascinating. That's so true. Well, see you later. Uh, okay. What the hell is your problem? What? <laughs> I don't think you continued that conversation. <laughs> ah! How'd he go? Ah! <laughs> Problem. Sometimes I just think I don't like people. Yeah, man, F the world. Yeah, F it. Fuck it. Fuck it even. Yeah, fuck him. I can say the F word in this game. I've been censoring myself right the fuck now. God, someone really should just fuck the world already. The world has gone unfucked for too long. Fucking right. Oh, I can vibe. That is something I kind of enjoy about getting drunk at parties. Is where you just get like, go into like the comfy, spaced out drunk zone and just like, stare into space for a while. And no one really hassles you because it's just that kind of setting. And you're just like, yeah. I'm sure I'm staring into space here. I guess I continued the conversation. Wait, where's the button? Be cool, May. Now go get a drink and be cool. <laughs> More drinks, yeah. I have to continually drink to talk to this guy. This is like in Disco Elysium when you fail a skill check and you have to come back with new stats. So you, you go get drunk around the corner, then you walk back into the interaction <laughs> and your stats are higher. Uh, do you guys hear something? Like what? Something in the woods over there. Oh yeah, uh, two people are making it out on the walk behind us. They can't be very comfortable. Who needs comfort when you have makeouts? But preferably you have both. It ain't a perfect world, Angus. There's only one option here. Oh wait, no, B, B, there's B. Will you save me? Yo! What? You're kinda grouchy, did you know that? No, I didn't. Rude. How long are you planning on staying? May, we just got here like 10 minutes ago. Oh. Are you- how many beers have you had? Two. Hey, set out, May, you're tiny. God, I am tiny. Holy fuck, I'm tiny. Wait, I just noticed that. I'm like three feet tall. Everyone is so giant. Why am I so fucking small? Okay, that person's smaller, but... Even the notably short Greg is, is significantly taller than me. Yeah, the beer is buffing May's uh, physical instrument, but is debuffing her suggestion and logic stats right now. Volition is screaming in the background, but is being ignored. You don't have to do this, May. Nah, I, what the fuck am I- I, I can't do Lenville Brown's voice, fuck that.
That person is shitting? Which one? Oh, sitting. I, I really did read that as shitting. I was like, where? Where? Who's shitting? Well, I know they're sitting, but I feel like even if they stood up, I'd still be... Maybe I'd be shorter. I don't know. But, you know. I can identify with May here. Getting drunk on two beers. It happens. Screw it. I'm doing two beers. I'm doing beer. I still taste tacos. Okay. What? Nothing. <laughs> She's gotten fucking loopy. She's zooted. No, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, what do you want to do so badly, May? What are you trying to accomplish here? <laughs> hey, Greg. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. Dude! Are you okay, May? You think the people making out on that rock uh, met up there because there's a porn log? <laughs> Oh my god, I bet there is. A what? You see, it's a log. Where olden days people would put... No. Oh, I won't be talking. Like, Revolutionary War era. I think there's an old cemetery from back there somewhere. These woods are full of old ghosts and porn logs and people making out. She's getting into it. She's getting into it. I think this is the conversation you're supposed to have at a party. Hey, Angie. My dad knows your dad. They used to work together back in the 80s. Okay. He used to hang out with that, that him at the bar with your daddy. Dude. Don't ever say daddy again. Psst. What? What? My dad had to stop drinking because he was a danger to me and my mom. <laughs> Dude. Okay, mate, you're not allowed to drink anymore. Ever. Oh, you fucked it up, mate. You fucked it up. Yeah, you, you had it for a sec, but then you fucked it up. Someone gonna make the main character in a Metroidvania large one day, just to make it different. Oh, I see. <laughs> or uh, I think the real shocker would be in a, a Soulsborne game, like Sekiro, but you're seven foot four. You're Yao Ming. <laughs> I fucked it up just like that porn log. <laughs> May it reaches the trauma dumping phase by beer four. <laughs> She's only on three beers. This isn't even four beers. Uh, I can keep talking to them if I want. Okay, May. Uh, I'm a little worried about you. I'm having a great time here in the woods, okay? Greg, uh, don't you think May should maybe sit down? Yeah, dude, you should, uh, you should sit. Dude, sit down by the fire and chill, okay? Okay, I've been put on chill duty. I can do that. I can chill. Oh shit. He is here. Hey, May. Hey, Coolio. Wow, I haven't heard that in forever. It's been like three years. Uh, it's not that long at all. Well, it, it was good to see you. I'm just back for a couple days from school and... Shut up already. What? We never even kissed. Didn't we? No, not successfully. I'm... I'm sorry? I don't even care. Okay, well, I'm gonna go... And it's not my fault I'm a total trash fire. I got nightmare eyes. And the last thing you see is my eyes outside the window. And then I stab you with my knife. I stab, stab, stab. Boom. Dead. 
Then the police get there, you're all nightmare eyes. Hey, new nickname. She has ascended beyond trauma dumping. This is something else entirely. She's she's invented a new mode of drunk. I think she needs another beer, yeah. Trauma creation? <laughs> She's the death of the party, God. Once again, she's gotten like Harrier Dubois drunk. There's overlap here. She's gonna start like ranting about apocalyptic prophecies and threatening to kill herself. So don't F with me, kid. Fuck the world. Okay, May, you're threatening people now. No, B, this is me being body positive. Read the internet. May, I think you need to. Fuck college. Yeah. All those rich kids and hot people. All writing sex and having papers with each other. Close enough. And that damn statue pointing at me every day. Supposed to be the founder, but just shapes. Uh, I'm a total trash mammal. Trash mammal. I feel like I've heard that term before. <laughs> Me has become tequila sunset. <laughs> I've finished the three beers. <laughs> Nothing's ever gonna work out. We never had a chance here, uh, but I can't go anywhere else. Go anywhere else. I'm home again, and I can't. I mean, I can do something besides sleep and cry alone. Because things aren't just things here, you know? Oh god. I'm so... I'm so sick. Vomit on the floor. Make it weird. To death. Does that make sense, Coolio? May, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to upset you. I, I think you're really great. Home again. Woo! Yo, yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm waiting for. Woo! The hype man. Woo! <laughs> yeah, she vomited and made it weird. How it goes. If you puke in this car, so help me. Apologize. I really am quite embarrassed. Apologize to be. I'm sorry. I don't even know what happened. You got sloppy ass drunk after what? Three cups of watered down beer? Remember when we used to be best friends? We used to be best friends. Does B and I still love you, B? I didn't get a word of that. Remember as Sasty call me May Day? And I called you B. -B. Oh, you mean when we were like 10? No, I don't. You remember when we were scouts together and we caught that turtle? Yeah, Boxy the turtle, he died. Uh, why are you so mean to me? <laughs> Is there another ending to the scene? I felt like it was pretty railroaded there. I tried most of the options when they were available. I feel like you're mad at me all the time. Why? Why are you so mean to me? Why so mean? Ah oh, man, if I puke in here, your parents are gonna be so mad at me. Tell your mom I'm sorry, okay? She's so nice. God damn it, May. What? My mother is dead. She did miss the bee's mom dying arc. <laughs> she wasn't informed. Oof. Oof. You blew it, man. <laughs> what? She died of cancer senior year. Wait, May was around for that. How did you miss that, May? 
Oh no, she was so nice. Uh, B, are you okay? How did you not know this? Did you forget about my dead mom? She forgot? <laughs> what the fuck, me? Oh, this this is a joke, right? This is like the uh, the 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 message is going to be lost in translation. Ah, B, I'm acting like a jerk. Are you mad at me? What happened to you? You used to be smart. You used to be cool. You used to be worth talking to. Why did you even come back? Oh, did college not work out for you? Was it inconvenient? Were you not in the mood? She's just sobbing now. I would have killed for that. I still would. I'd kick you out of this moving car right now if it meant that I could go to college. She's fucking white girl drunk. Completely inconsolable. She's not coming back. We're here. Get the hell out of my car. Oh god, let me help you in. Three beers. <laughs> it's almost as bad as the fucking the Porky Pig's uh, experience having one beer one single beer and Tails gets trolled. I should specify. That doesn't make sense otherwise. Of course I'm referencing Tails gets trolled. There you go. I'm sorry, B. I'm a mess. You know what? Whatever. It's not your fault. You're just a kid. I'm older than you. Two months. Yeah, well, I stayed here and got older. While well, you went off and stayed the same. She's asleep. Uh, good night, Mayday. You can see how the ship comes together, really. They have perfect chemistry. <laughs> oh, vision quest time. Vision quest. Here we go. This is the good part. Amimir. Oh, I can bat. The batter can bat. Oh, dude, this is like an air combo. That's sick. Wait, can I fly? You can almost fly. It is just like Rain World. Oh, you can break that. Hell yeah. Durkelsberg? Durkelsberg. Grunkle Stanley is here. Durkelsberg. Yeah, I'm fucking the world right now. This is what you get! My super laser pass! Oh, I can break the fucking sign? Yo! With my... Oh, I could have made a funny word if I'd planned this out. Uh... Kills... Killsburb? Killberg. Just kill burgers. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Break the fucking trash can too, yeah, yeah. Send it to hell. God, this, I wish my dreams were this cool and it wasn't just fucking fans' lottery safe. Oh, there's a combo. I didn't even realize. Hey, 
There's no down attack like Hollow Knight. You can't pogo the cars. This wasn't the dream sequence I remember being in the game, by the way. There are, there are different ones. Oh. Hi there. Um, that is a Miros bird. It's not looking good. Can I fight it? Apparently not. Oh, kinda. fight it. Yeah, me, I'm not sure you should get drunk anymore. What, what the fuck kind of dream is this? Wasted. It's like a fucking. I need to get the. Uh... I'm trying to think of a single song from the Shadow of the Colossus soundtrack by name. I can't remember any of them. The Opened Way. Yeah. Da 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 da. Weird autumn. It sure is. It's so peaceful. I hope I don't press the spacebar, then immediately wake up and vomit. Oh no, I'm okay. Well, that was a weird one. I feel awful. I probably look awful. Uh, I'm gonna burn this room down with me in it. Live out my remaining days as a shrieking ghost. Yep. <laughs> You would do that, me. You would do that. Oh, good. I was right. I look like an utter hell. Burn it. You look like you have since the start of the game. <laughs> we need a once again Disco Elysium. We need a, a zoom in on the expression in the mirror. Wait, I could have inspected that. Oh, we're playing a good game today, I see. Yeah, Dad put him here, I bet. Dad should move him. It's only fair. May makes the face. It's an expression of pain. Gets uh, drunk and connects with her slug cat ancestors through dreams. <laughs> this is all Rain World post canon. Me? Or is that, that mom? Come say hi. That's mom. Okay. Hey, hon. You look like crap. Yep. A uh, rough night? Is it that obvious? Could it be any more obvious? No, I was just saying that you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. If you want to talk about it... That's cool, Mom. I saw Cole at the party in the woods. From senior year? Yeah, he was home from school for the weekend. Did you talk to him? Uh, kind of. I don't know. Well, he's a jerk, hun. No, he's not. Or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway. Looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of town center. Towny century. Finally. Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. Oh, the church steps? Probably. I'm not sure why I said Churchill. And the power lines. Great. Uh, hun, I do not want you up on those thingies. Mom, I'm 20. Uh-huh. Which means you can go to jail for it. No one's going to jail for running around on power lines. Psh, they'd never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. 
There's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her yesterday at front? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know, everything's fuzzy today. And anything, and anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie? <laughs> I think I remember Susie. Susie Kirshner, that is. So that's your last name. <laughs> well, he's a jerk, hun. Or he's really changed and you like him now. Whichever you want to hear. Pretty much. Uh, gee, Mom, I sure don't. I've definitely never heard this story a thousand times. Fried, honey. The paper you used, used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See? That's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. So, what are you up to today? I don't know. I gotta go see what Greg and B are up to. You all gonna do something together? I don't know. I don't think they hang out much. Asked messing around with her old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Eh... Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. And we each have only so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No, God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. God's gonna water my trees for me, so help me. If I see God slacking on that tree water and there's going to be hell to pay, there'll be a reckoning. Friendships are like trees. You can chop them down for wood and sit on them. You can throw them into a fire for warmth and to cook hot dogs. God's pissing on those trees. The Ur Pisser. Hey, mate. Hey, Selmers. Did I see you with a journal the other day? Oh uh, yeah, doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one too. Oh, okay. Did you have anger problems too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. Oh, jeez. Uh, so Dr. Hank sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do, though. And I've become a very good poet. Want to hear one? Uh, of course. Yeah, let's, let's hear some. Friendships are like trees. They have porn in them sometimes. Apparently that's true. If I've learned anything from the Azzy Pants streams. My heart is a dankness. But when I see you, I feel a thankness. Wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a Eunice. That's a, that's a way of making a poem without using adjectives. Susie could have written that. Those are all nouns. That's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh. We're just friends. <laughs> Mr. Chazakov's up on the roof again. Pretty sure he's gonna break his damn neck. Uh, let me go give this Mr. Chazakov a talking to. If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Hey, I'm up there on the roof next door. If he falls from that roof through a window, you're going to have to pick up which part of him you're going to sue. Whichever piece is biggest. I can hear you, you know. Oh, is that the teacher? Didn't I give the teacher the most annoying voice that's ever been performed by a human? Chad is derailing. Have you never pissed on a friendship? Oh yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, that's the one. That's him. How the fuck do I get over there? Oh, I can walk on those. Crazy. Hmm. 
Mabarovsky, you could have knocked on the... Well, I can't, can't even remember the voice that he had. It was fucking weird. I'm not on top chat. I'm reading live chat. Hello, Mario. May Barovsky, you could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time, I'm gonna call the cops. Oh, whatever. Yeah, ha <laughs> ha. He's heavy? Yeah, ha ha. I'll tell you I'm glad you've accepted my invitation. Is that how heavy speaks? I'm not sure. Mike Wazowski. Ah, what are you doing here anyway? Hunting desk stars. That's close enough. Uh, what's a desk star? Desk stars is the name of my shoegaze band. Oh, you know it. Really? No. It is music of looking at shoes. With a lot of reverb. You sound like Dracula with diabetes. I don't think diabetes changes the way you talk, unless, I don't know, is that how uh, how Joel does all those death metal screams? It's the diabetes. I'm back to measure head. You're right. I'm doing. A, 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 we can't have two measure heads. Why are we talking about shoes? What the fuck was the voice? I was. I don't even know how I did it. How did I get such a shitty voice for this guy that I can't even replicate it? <laughs> Why are we talking about shoes? I forget. Want to have a look? Uh... Yeah. Excellent! My eyes! Oh, you want to put a filter on, so, uh, like so. Jeez. The sun is bright. Make you blind. Is he speaking in broken English? I can't tell. You didn't think to mention this? I just did. It's kind of cool. That looks like a star. I can't... I can't interact with the star. Why is this music reminding me of one of the songs from the Tales Gets Trolled album? Ooh. Oh. We've got a bogey. This is just like Voices of the Void. It's the same minigame. Whoa. I found one, I think. Let me have a look. Ah, uh, yes. Castus. What's Castus? The star that tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven, and for this the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that's that's screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn straight. Oh, uh, will you never die as well? I think I'm glocking back into the Hello Mario. Uh, I guess someday. I don't know. Never. Uh uh. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Deffy's uh, cast these gods also, uh, will you? Uh, no, Deffy. What the fuck is Deffy? I can't speak anymore. Defy cast these gods also, will you? That was the voice. I found it again. The gods in these stories are only stand-ins for the things we cannot control. You might say floods or the cancer or such. No, to all of them. This is fair. How many souls does May have? Like six, I think. Oh. He bounced off the edge. It's kind of fun. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, here we go. Gotta lock in azimuth and elevation. I found one. Let me have a look. Ah, uh, yes, Door the Murderer. Okay, I'm interested. Door passed Burn, the king's procession, on the street. Uh, Door was quiet and said nothing, and the king took offense to this. Why? Jeez, why? Royalty is strange. So, what happened? Burn insulted Door, Door's family, Door's village, and so on, until he was down to insulting Door's chickens. Chickens are kind of awful. Weird, horrible, angry dinosaurs. They peck each other's eyes out. They are delicious. <laughs> they deserve to be delicious. Dor first murdered Burns' chickens, then his ancestral village, then his family. Holy crap. And when he came to Burn, the king was silent. I'm gonna get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dor a hero? Uh, totally. So I, I wasn't really following the names in the story too well. I missed it. I have chickens, they suck. W Wonder was talking about her chickens being kind of good. Um, just, just today, I think. So clearly some chickens are nice. Was Dor the king, or was... I don't know. I, I, I wasn't paying attention, dude. Sorry. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter, I think. Like, if you've been told you're nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it is a true story, and real people died, and you should feel terrible. Seriously? <laughs> Believe me, we have seen both stars visible today. Oh, really? They come and go fast. Uh, that was pretty great. We can look again in two days time. Will you be back? <laughs> uh, yeah, if I remember. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. That's spooky, Mr. Chazikov. <laughs> B has this dude right outside her window, constantly. Arnold Stalkerbon. Wait, that's a different guy. Oh, no, I, she's making a joke. I didn't get the joke. Can I go on, like, B's windowsill and, like, yell at her? I think she'd appreciate that. That would go a long ways to mending our, uh, friendship. If I appeared outside her window and made a funny face. We once had a young cockerel with a crowing problem. He didn't know how to make the right noise and second-guessed himself. Everyone's having chickens these days. Does everyone in chat have chickens? I don't have any chickens. Molly Star's got 10k subs? Yep. She deserves it too. It's kind of unfortunate timing though in a way, because she just did the uh, comment response stream on Friday. So, I don't know, gotta do another thing. Damn city slickers without chickens. Don't even have chickens. You have chickens. Apparently church is open. It's a pretty big fucking church. Fortunately, God is 
powerless to stop me jumping on the cars. And the infinite brown cemetery. <laughs> Master KWU. 7 to 9 a.m. service. Bingo on Tuesdays, dude. Church bingo. The Transform Youth Ministry. Sounds sounds cool. Um, you warm enough at night. Yeah, you know, I get by. Well, I'm working on something to help you out. Uh, don't go to any trouble. I'm alright. That's good. Gonna get cold soon. I can get you some blankets for now. For some reason, we have a lot of blankets. That'd sure be a blessing. Well... Best, best, with what we already have too much of anyway. <laughs> and we got blankets. <laughs> Who are you? Are you priest lady? Priest man? Hot dog. Hey. Hey. You're Candy Borofsky's daughter, right? Her name's Candy, eh? Umris, Susie, and Birdly voices? Uh, no, that's... That's neither of them, no. Not, not the same voices at all. Oh, there's Molly, you're still in chat. You had plans to do a Halloween-themed stuff in any case, but I plan to do something cool aside from that if I can figure out what exactly. Oh, right, okay, so Halloween events, and just conveniently merge that with the 10,000 subs, as if your birthday was on Christmas. Perfect. What do I think of the game? I knew basically what the game was going into it. I've seen a playthrough when it first came out, so... I'm sort of just... I, I've forgotten all the details, but I remember the broad strokes of it. And I'm sort of going back and re-experiencing it now. I liked the game a lot back in, when it first came out. It was, I was very impressed by it. Hmm, yeah, happy birthday, Pidge, almost. Uh, yep, who are you? I'm Kate, but you can call me Pasta K. That's like way more syllables. You're new here, right? Sixteen months, something like that. Oh, new to me at least. This over here is Bruce. Hey. Hey. Bruce is new to our community. Uh, you live in the woods? But not for long. We're working on fixing that before winter gets here. Gonna take some doing, but God's a doer. And they're bigger than city council. Was that a gender-neutral god, or was I just confused there? Will I stream Chapter 3 of Delta Room? I will stream a second playthrough of Chapter 3. I've, I have a sort of public stance on this. I will not stream my first playthrough. thinks it's uh, a lot of trouble to go do. Listen, nobody said loving your neighbor would be easy, and you are our actual neighbor. I appreciate it. We all need a little help sometimes, Bruce. No shame in hard times. Uh, well, it was nice meeting you both. Come and see me at the church sometime. Uh, I will. I'll be up to visit my mom anyway. See you later, Bruce. Okay, nice to meet you, Mary. May, May Barovsky. Bruce, uh, just Bruce. Pastor, Pastor Kate. Bond, James Bond. Good, I don't want to watch the first. Yeah, the reason that you don't do a first playthrough of Deltarune on a stream is that in order to play it without spoilers, 
Well, obviously, I'm, regardless of that, I'm going to be playing it immediately on release, like second one. Um, but if I do that and stream that, then that means that anyone else who wants to play it without spoilers and without waiting, um, who wants to watch the stream, has to make that their first playthrough and can't play it blind. So I need to respect uh, people who want to play the thing themselves first and then stream the game. That's one of many reasons not to do it. Uh, we're in, like, gradient land. Oh. Oh, that's my mom. Hey, hun. Hey, mom. Wow, it's been a while since I was in here. I know, sweetie. It's nice to see you in the building, at least. Did you meet the new pastor? Yeah, and a homeless guy. Oh, okay. Man across the street. Yeah, Bruce. Oh, well, that's nice of her. Going to see him. They both seem pretty nice. We're all just a pack of nice up here. Small town nice. You're not working a job with overtime hours this year, so there's no way Chapter 3 can drop this year. Is that how it works, Cherry? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everyone has to go off and play it themselves and then reconvene to, uh... When I stream Chapter 3, it's going to be a second playthrough and it's going to be secret hunting. It's not going to be a normal playthrough, it's going to be, like, scouring every interaction for, like, the Snowgrave route or whatever. And hopefully if I play it fast enough, you know, there's a chance that there might actually be secrets that haven't been discovered yet. Imagine that. There might be like a two-day window where there's still some things that people don't know about the game yet. Maybe. That'll be exciting. Two-hour window. Yeah, realistically. Someone's first interaction with the game is going to be to, like, fucking open up the, the mod tool, which is depressing, but inevitable. If you avoid the internet, you could probably duck a lot of those for, uh, a lot of the spoilers for at least a, a few days, maybe. But you gotta work quick. You have to be fast while the errand's hot, you know? It took a few days to find Snowgrave, but also people weren't looking for the Snowgrave at that point. I think it's different now. You hope that Teen Zone makes a subtle Umris reference? Um, there's already a subtle Umris reference in Chapter 2. Oh, you mean, oh the Umris writing event itself. Let, let's not get silly now. Here I go. I wish there was a way to realistically stay away from spoilers for long enough. Because even if I'm streaming it as a second playthrough, people are going to be watching that stream, and some people watching are going to have fucking. Meh. <laughs> They're gonna be in like the the data mind lore and stuff. Oh, <laughs> it's a normal dog. So it, it, there's kind of no way to really win. You just pick the way to lose the least. Good graffiti up here. You're dumb. Charlene, I love you. Goat lung. Too true. Oh wait, there's a dude up there. How do I get up there? 
Wait a minute. Ah, no chance. Wait a minute. Nah, you can't do it. Rin. Okay, I've broken into an abandoned room. Cool. Good for me, I guess. Alright. Wow, so this is where the stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Bloomingrow snapped his feather and or tether and ran over Chris Evans. I have to read that again. Mallard P. Mallard P. Bloomingro snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. So like a parade float? For some reason I read Chris Evans as Rich Evans and I was like, my brain kind of short-circuited for a second there. And then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. Oh my god. Mallard. What have they done to you? That's him. Mallard P. Bloomingro. Uh, one of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Yeah, reach inside the, the duck corpse. Mallard, you're pregnant. It's one of those god things. Like when you have a baby because of god. Holy crap, you're the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're uh, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. <laughs> They're just such wretched beings. <laughs> It's weird because there's animal people than animals at the same time. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We had a kid's school in Louisiana called Immaculate Conception. Always found that weird. <laughs> okay. Like, the school could have been called Fuck Free Baby, and it would have meant exactly the same thing. The song Mallard's Tomb has a whole ass uh, OST, has a habit of being chill ass bangers that are 10 minutes long with no justification. I remember that. I remember that from the OST video. Uh, Mallard's Tomb was a song. I thought that rung a bell. Two bucks from Ave Meditarsalia Enthusiast. <sighs> Sorry, I gotta yawn. <sighs> What Rain World mod is this looks cringe. It's very cringe. Cat is no longer a slug cat. You're an anthro cat named May Barovsky from Poland or something. Hey, you could catch the stream, Mel. Nice. We are a, a, a bit late. We're uh, four and a half hours in here, but we're still going. It was in elementary school. Imagine them, them trying to figure out what it means and getting fucked up ideas. I bet uh, it must have been a great time. Just a whole whole vibe at Immaculate Conception Primary in Jennings or something. It's locked. What the hell? Uh, that's a fire hazard. It's probably where they keep the bodies. Okay. Which Undertale AU is this? There was a Jennings killer? I say Jennings because that's where some of my family down there lives. I didn't know they had a, a killer. 
Okay, how do I get to that dude? Is it possible? Probably not from that angle. I have to come from this way? Hang on. Yep, making progress. I think these are supposed to be weather stations. Uh, Pioneer Scouts made them when they were playing football. Or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. Is Pioneer Scout like a Boy Scout? Is it like a copyright free Boy Scout? Do they teach you manhood in the Boy Scouts? You think they teach you boyhood? I'm not sure how it works. I wasn't in the Boy Scouts. Yo, it's it's Guy. It's is this what the fuck, Laura? Hey, it's you. It's me. I'm gonna sit. Legs are killing me. Yeah, it's a hike to get up here, right? I'm just getting old. Twenty years. You're like all the way old. How old are you? Fifteen in February. I used to hang out here after school. Really? Most kids don't come up all the way here. Huh. Yeah. So that's why it's so nice. Better than being at home. Uh, where do you live? Chestnut Street. Oh, okay. Up by the tracks. Yeah. Guess I'm not really in town. I'm like... Tracks. I live down on Maple. Love to be 20 and call myself old. Yeah. All the kids were cool. This is Boy Scouts, I assume. The adults were repressed old men who reeked of toxic masculinity. That sounds great. We kicked a tree over and it was awesome. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Oh, the rich neighborhood. Aw. The what? Uh, the what? Oh, sorry. I just meant it's nice. Uh, never mind, it's okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, it it's okay, calm down. I was lapsed into the Susie voice for a second. Uh, it it's okay, calm down. I'm sorry, I get weird sometimes, I'm sorry. What is she, hyperventilating? Uh, I'll forgive you if you stop apologizing. <laughs> okay. The tracks are cool. Haven't been out there in a while. The train shakes my room at night. Yeah, in the winter I can hear it. One of my favorite noises. Well, you don't have to wake up with... Uh, bits of ceiling on you. Oh, there they are. Good point. We killed and ate wild squirrels one time. Survived some bear sightings too. Why was your Boy Scout so fucking weird? In what context are you killing and eating squirrels? Is that normally part of Boy Scouts? Did you just have guns? Yes. All right. They were unhinged and had access to sticks and stones we used to trap them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds great. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to question this further. Uh, all right. I'm out. It was nice chatting. I'm here most days. Ah, uh, cool. See you later. See you, killer. Uh. Can I? I want to reach the summit. I'm not satisfied until I've reached the summit. There we go. Gato. Pet the cat. Pet the kitty, me. 
Years ago, I thought uh, when I was 20, I'd be able to climb this, or I'd never be able to climb this high anymore. Shows what you know, little May. It is a cute cat. Well, I'm a cute cat in this game too. Maybe there's no novelty to it. Like what if you climbed the building and there was just like a, a little human fetus lying on the ground? I don't think you'd want to pet that, that'd be just kind of gross. Or like, yeah, a, a monkey, like a hairless monkey. You'd be like, I'm not touching that. It's a homunculus, exactly. Still, it's a very cute cat. Now I have reached the absolute. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. I took three days to catch one by placing food under a big rock with a string and a stick to pull, but they were determined. We grilled it over the fire that night. The fuck? <laughs> that sounds fucked up, dude. How did you even kill the squirrel? Did you trap it and then, like, throttle it? Or was it just a huge rock that, like, crushed the squirrel? I'm, I'm morbidly curious at this point. Like some Indiana Jones boulder trap that just flattens the squirrel into paste. I think they stabbed it under the rock until it died. Holy shit. I don't think I want to be in the scouts anymore. This is a fucking sturdy pigeon. Gonna run out of and do this on your break? Oh no, that's the guy. Shush. You think I'm gonna tell Nancy I'm sick? I can't puke on command. Well, that's one way to do it. I gotta change of clothes in the car. In case you puke on your regular clothes? Oh, did he say you can puke on command? I missed that. No, I just wanna look good for the interview. Oh, good idea. I mean, it's ham, ham Panther, it ain't art gallery in Paris. I figure any leg up is good. I'm excited. So am I. I need to drink all this coffee so I got something to puke in 20 minutes. <laughs> the fuck? Degenerate behavior. But, uh... I don't know if you think it'll get you the job. Why does that remind me of the fucking story in that... In that John Boyce documentary about the Seattle Mariners, where like the early Mariners had a guy on the team who could puke on command, and that and he would just do it in the outfield at baseball games, and at one point he caused a chain reaction where other people saw him puke and themselves puked until like the whole fucking team was just in the field puking their guts out. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean that happened? It's a very cool trick, yeah. Just like everyone in the team is just vomiting on each other. It's like a filthy Frank video. Two? Is that like two? Or like also? Is this an error so bad even I wouldn't make it? That's what I'm saying, man. Who the fuck is this guy? Hey! Uh, whoa, hey. We got like the same shirt. But, like, opposites. Oh, wow. Uh, what do you know? What's your shirt from? From? Yeah, like, is it a band or something? Nah, I made it at home ec back in high school. Yeah, I just like the symbol. It's a null symbol, right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what's your shirt mean? Secret symbol of God's wrestling league. Whoa, what's that? Backyard wrestling! 
Whoa. Where does that happen? All over the place. Backyards, you know. How did I not know about this? It's secret because it's illegal, I think. And people go to the hospital and stuff. That's kind of awesome. This is awesome. It is awesome. Holy crap, I'm gonna look this up. See you there sometime. Alright. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do I parse that? Is backyard wrestling a real thing? Like, what is it? Is you just wrestle in your backyard? Is it like WWE? But you just do it yourself? Do they wear costumes? How does that work? DIY WWE. I that's that's fascinating. Backyard bare knuckle boxing. So it's just like when you were a kid and you'd go to your friend's house and like wrestle, but they're full grown adults and it's illegal and they're probably drinking lots of beer. So it's just kind of like that. Yeah, I think everyone did a bit of backyard sparring as children. I don't recall much of that since I went to college at least, or since I went to high school for that matter. Yeah, this happened to my buddy Eric. It's a big guy. Hey, man. Hey, Angus. How's it going? You're like the third person I've seen today. You know I've explained it, but I have zero clue how this place stays open. You'd be surprised. Uh, band practice later? Gotta warm up my voice. Always oh, the singer? I guess that checks out. Yeah, you growl real good. Thanks. I'm a born growler. When I was a baby, I never cried. I just growled. I think I cried non-stop until I was like 9. And then I cried all the time again starting at like 13. Uh, you already got 3 years of not crying in there though. Yeah, they were really productive years. <laughs> we're getting into the groove of it. The unemployed college dropout experience. We just go see our friends at their jobs that we don't have while they're working. Um, and that's about it. That's our life. What the? What? No. No, 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 no. Past abilities is gone? No more pizza delivery. No more Big Sal. No more special birthdays. This is the worst thing that's happened to this town. Since the flood that took out... The petting zoo, the mini golf ice cream place. It's got to be the petting zoo. Ah, thank goodness all the animals swam to safety on the roof of the tire place. Who knew goats were such good swimmers? I am so freaking depressed now. It's devastating. Thank you for 28 wonderful years. Damn. Her entire life. Her entire life she's had past abilities to fall back on and now it's gone. That's devastating. It really is. And she didn't even have a chance to go back before it, before it closed. That bird is stoned. Oh yeah. How about them? Oh this is this is Yeek, sorry. How about them smelters? Kicked some blue bear ass last night. Good game, good game. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna be a hell of a season, bud. <laughs> I love the smelters. Do you think that's a football team or a, a baseball team? Could be a basketball team even. Who knows? Those, those, those are the three sports in America, roughly. The saying is two birds, one stoned. So out of two birds, there will be one stoned. Ah, there's the second bird. Uh, hey, Jeremy. Jeremy Wharton. New birdly spotted. Melvin copy that. Uh, germ, germ, right? 
Is it even worth that? Uh, oh, that's stuck, huh? Yep. Uh, that, that's an okay name. Your name is May. Uh, yep. That's an okay name. Okay. Y you're like a year behind me, right? Two years. So y you're fresh out, huh? I hang out with Greg sometimes. We ride bikes. I'm pretty good at it. Uh, okay. Uh. Uh, uh what? I saw a rabbit possum the other day. Uh, really? Where? It was crawling across the road. Uh, had it been hit by a car? Nah, just rabbits. Well, what happened to it? Got hit by a car? Well, wow. It was like a poem. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shoutouts to Jeremy. It is impossible to be cooler than Bertley. The you thought the Steelers are baseball? What the fuck are the Steelers? Do I even know? I feel like that should be a football team, but... All my sports knowledge comes from John Boyce, and I don't remember now. I know the Packers are a football team, and the Lakers are a basketball team. But the Steelers definitely aren't a baseball team. I don't know, though. Detroit Steelers. That sounds about right, yeah. Uh, okay, Greg, 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 uh... Well, well, look who it is! Yeah, yep, alive for another day. How are you feeling? Uh, I was feeling pretty bad, but I've been across town. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, that helped. Fresh air, or as fresh as it gets around here. Ah, uh, delicious. So, what's up? Uh, it's just stopping in. We're gonna head out to band practice. I, I want to find B before I, I leave for band practice, I guess. Uh, I was just stopping in. Gonna roll out. Later, bruh. Bruh. Later, bruh. 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 Minneapolis is the Vikings? The Minnesota Vikings. That's the that's the, the current John Boyce football documentary. I, I know a thing or two about the Minnesota Vikings. Where was B's store again? How could you forget that the Vikings live in Minnesota? They don't usually. There's a story behind it. And if you want to know the story, you should watch John Boyce's documentary on the Minnesota Vikings. Why should I have to recount the story when John Boyce has already put so much effort into doing it himself? The only sport that matters is cricket. Cricket in chat. Actual cricket. You should watch the Pokemon movie to learn about the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, they do name drop them, right. That's some fucked up factoid. The Steelers are from Pittsburgh. Someone else said they were from Detroit a second ago. Maybe Detroit is yet another thing? I don't know, dude. Oh, Danny got a job here. Wait, wasn't he trying to get a job at, um, Pork Zone or whatever the fuck it's called? Pork Hamster. New Pork City. Detroit Lions. Ah, that sounds right. Yeah. And the Pittsburgh Steelers. Not to be confused with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh... I didn't give Danny any particularly interesting voice, did I? Whatever, I'll talk to B first. Hey, B. Yo. Uh, sorry about last night. 
I got woozy on cold medicine, so... No, I get, I don't... I, she didn't actively that night, just in general she gets woozy on cold medicine, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, May, were you taking lean last night? Was it not just the beer? What is that? Every time you think about 17776, you just think, yeah, this is kind of like Homestuck. <laughs> That's fascinating. I still haven't read that, but I have read Homestuck, so... It's probably shit in that case, and I won't read it. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, so I, I don't really know what I expected to happen. Sorry for what I said. Y you know, I, I don't really remember much. So, whatevs. Hooray for alcohol. New town motto. How does how does Danny talk? How's it going, dude? I'm got a got, got a job here. That's that's cool. What if what if he becomes Dark Roast Denny from that one weird fucking animation? The dark dark coffee. I like the the the, the dark coffee in the mug, which like it feel what the coffee is doing the thermal mug. Everyone gets that reference, I bet. Everyone. G g got a job here, that's cool. Uh, oh, nice. Actually, I'm lying, it sucks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I had no idea there were so many kinds of hammers and wrenches and nails. Oh, my god, the nails. We reinvented Danny, we've rebuilt him from the ground up. He's stronger, faster, better, and has a really silly voice. Falling through the platforms is so fucking funny for some reason. Just like the T pose. Uh, band practice later? Uh, 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 yep. I'm amazed it's still a thing. Uh, we are barely even a band in high school. Yeah, it's fun. Get to hang out with Angus. Uh, how did you even end up doing it? When Casey left town, Angus told me that Greg was really sad, so I volunteered to be a new drummer. Uh, well, drummer. It's a laptop, B. It sure is, May. It sure is. I'll see you later. I got some work to do. The bummer drummer. You like battle bots, but it's not a real sport. <laughs> it's Roombas tearing each other apart. Do they still have battle bots? I feel like people who like sports but don't want to watch sports just get into like speedrunning or something. The A button challenge. Or uh, sumo in my case. Telezoft. How do I start the band practice? But I guess I talk to Greg again. An A press is an A press. You can't say it's only half. Shoutouts to TJ Henry Yoshi. Did I mention this on stream yet? The uh that original video, Watch for Rolling Rocks and Half an A-Press, is now obsolete in the A-Button Challenge. Oh, we got a Vista. Th there was a- the latest Pen and Coic video, he found a way to- to do that with zero A-Presses. So now that whole fucking thing is no longer relevant. All the parallel universes, the scuttlebug raising... You don't- you don't do it anymore. It's obsolete. Yeah, the current way to do it is that you manipulate a moving platform out of bounds and manipulate a bunch of bats to stay over the platform, carry the bats out of bounds on the platform, and they line up in a perfect way that you can bounce off of them up to the star. And it takes like six minutes instead of 12 hours. So how did that arm get here? Someone just running down the street? Whoops, my arm fell off. I'll come back for that later. 
No one could survive there. I'm just falling off or, or being chopped off. Like, not by a doctor. Is it still called assault if you chop off an arm? Seems like it should be a different word. Arm choppy. Are you, you're under arrest for arm choppy. Is, isn't it called grievous bodily harm <laughs> or something like that? Isn't that that's a legal term of some sort? Oh, pretzel for the rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever's arm that it was is probably dead. Nah, definitely. Unless I see someone walking around who's until recently had an arm. It's weird how inconsequential the arm is. I remember that even from years ago when I watched the playthrough. It's like you see the arm on day one, and then it's just sort of not a thing for a while. It's like, holy fuck, there was an, just a severed arm. <laughs> and then everyone goes back to like, fuck my ex in high school. I'm gonna get drunk on three beers. <laughs> Which I guess is realistically what would happen if you saw an arm on the sidewalk, but... It's just funny that no one really talks about it. Um, I should do band practice first. I, I, I can't get distracted again. Okay, where was the snack, Falcon? Everyone's too miserable to be worried. Everyone secretly hopes the murderer gets them next. So what's up? Uh, we're uh, gonna head at the band practice? Oh yeah. Oh, Jeremy's here. Cool. Musical note. So, uh, when are we starting? That's great. He's usually what's uh, holding us up and making us go faster. All purpose, Greg. Unto every time a Greg. Birthday zone? Wait, what? What does that say in the background? Are we in some, like, multi purpose rental space for children's birthdays? <laughs> Who knows? Alright, kids, I gotta head out soon. Where are you going? Found me stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Just for a night. Uh, okay, we doing this? Yeah, let's do this. Wait, I don't, I don't know the song. Like, at all. And I barely remember how to play bass. You'll be fine. I completely will not be fine. Zero self-confidence, huh? It's weird there's no background music in these sections. It really is quite strange. It's unsettling. In legal terms, removing someone's arm would be mutilation or disabling. Minimum one year, max 20 years in prison. Imagine cutting off someone's arm and then going to prison for one year. <laughs> That's fucked up. What, what, the, the, I don't know how the legal system works, dude, but when you get like 1 to 20 years in prison, it's like, what is the case where you get 1 year in prison for that, like, versus 20? <laughs> is it if you cut the arm off someone with three arms? Is like, if there's a spare? I don't fucking know. No, I just don't know the song. You stupid jerks. We're doing it. I don't know it either. Full concentration for this. It's mostly steady, but there's some weird syncopation sometimes. There we go. It's like a, a push note? What do you call those? It's like earlier than you think. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, yeah. Ah, he got stuck. I can't read the lyrics because I'm too busy looking at the... Uh... Oh, got offbeat for a sec. Oh, that's cool.
It bothers me when there's two uh, of the same note in a row, but it plays a different note, like audibly. Not too bad. Pretty good. You don't want to spoil yourself? This game is six years old. What are you waiting for, dude? <laughs> Interesting, though. You can't watch too much because you don't want to get spoiled. I respect that. Oh, what if the guy had it coming? Right. That's, yeah. Just just a, just one year is fine. If, if the guy isn't upset that you cut off his arm. <laughs> a friend of mine says your Germa voice is getting better. I think it is. I I don't know if it's necessarily a Germa voice. It, it's something, though, and it's, it's at least consistent at this point. Yeah, that was okay. Not bad considering I don't know this song. That was pretty loud. Is that good? Loud's fine. Big opinion Angus up here. Always got those big opinions. Hey, hey, duder. Uh, Angus is leaving for the night? Yeah, gonna be bored. Or rather, I would be if I didn't have plans. Plans? Crimes. Oh, crimes. You up for some crimes? Uh, hmm. Uh, I might be hanging out with B. Uh, let me check first. Uh, definitely. Uh, this is the decision, right? I remember this, is that you can choose between hanging out with B or with Greg. And I think Greg's is, like, cool, but I've, I've heard that, like, B is, like, the stealth, the better route. It's, it's like, low-key the better one, even though hanging out with Greg is kind of a vibe. Mm, it's a tough choice. B is cooler. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, it pains me, but I think I'll... Because also, I, I kind of remember what hacking it with Greg does. I think you go and, like, you smash cars or something in a junkyard. Whereas with B, I don't remember what happens. Uh, I might be hanging out with B first. Uh, let me check. Ooh, well, uh, let me know. If it was B or Greg hanging on a cliff, I would choose B. Wow. That's harsh, dude. You'd let Greg fall off a cliff? Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> With them big old eyes. Why is there no, what are you doing here, Jeremy? Good practice. Uh, was it? Eh. <laughs> Fuck you too, Jeremy. God damn it. Can't catch a break. You wanna do something tonight? Um, I, I promise it'll be an improvement on last night. What were you thinking of doing? I, um, wanna go to the mall? The mall? Yeah, Fort Lucen, uh, like we did when we were kids. When's the last time you were at the Fort Lucen Mall? I don't know, five years ago? Yeah, uh, it also died. Is it dead? Be like your mom? Like, every, everything's fucking changed. The, the Italian restaurant. Can't have shit in Possum Springs. Can't have shit. Uh, what? You know what? Yeah, let's, let's go. Great. Yep. Great. I promise it'll be great. Okay. Uh, we sure we're doing this? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, let's go mauling. Great. She looks so enthused, doesn't she? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't puke in here. Me too. Uh, maybe I just never drink again. 
Or maybe you just take it easy next time. I don't know if I do moderation well. I can see that. I think uh, the term is risk-taking behavior. Are you seeing someone about this? Hanging out with you is working out uh, pretty well tonight. No pressure. I should be getting paid by the hour. I got gum. I'm gonna turn on the radio now. She kinda hates me, for sure. Old Gods of the Fort Lucen Mall. Title card, okay. These kids suck. <laughs> I hate kids. Fort Lucen. Oh my god. Yep. What what the hell happened? Um, the internet. We had the internet when we used to come here. I feel like the maze voice is mutated a bit. It's mutating. Okay. Ah, uh, what happened to the carousel? Sold it, I guess. Who buys a carousel? Nobody who comes here. What, what happened to the bookstore? Also the internet. What happened to the arcade? I'm going to make a sign that says the internet and hold it up until you're done asking. What, what, what happened to internet? Why is this thing animating? It's kind of unsettling. Why is it doing that? <gasps> Everything on sale forever. <laughs> it was originally trans femme burger pants. I think it sort of still is. I think it's just subtly changed a little bit. Hard to say how. And is the and yet the dollar empire is still here. I think that's one of the things the internet can't compete with. I guess I used to go in here when I was a kid. You could get an eraser for a dollar, a pencil for a dollar. That actually doesn't sound like a good deal. Uh, God, you're right. Burger Pants isn't as mentally unstable as me, which is really saying something. <laughs> oh my god. The Rev is still here. You Rev. It's Hot Topic. <laughs> yeah, this... Uh, where did the B... What's B Boys doing? What's that? What's that doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, this old thing. I can still feel the edginess from here. Uh, just looking at it makes me feel old. We are so going to do this. There is no way I'm going in there. Here we go. Oh, for God's sake. Ho. Oh, oh. Ho. <laughs> Jojo. Ho. Oh. Lee. Crap. Oh, sorry. Holy crap. I'm 14 again. Yep, pretty nuts in here. Hey, isn't that... Shut up. I'm gonna make the cold read. They dated. Hey, ladies. Hello, lady. Just so you know, we have 20% off select t-shirts. Ooh, t-shirts. Yup. Thanks a lot. Okay. Catch you later. All right. <laughs> huh. 
Yeah, this is a Hot Topic, I think. I haven't been inside a Hot Topic, but... I can just sort of intuit that this is meant to be a Hot Topic, you know? Wow, haven't seen uh, belt buckles in a while. At least not fashionable ones. Mike at the shop has one with a rattlesnake driving a semi-truck. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Do what? Cover me, I'm gonna grab one. What? No. Shh. You are not doing this. So whichever option you choose, you commit crimes regardless. So you're really going to do this. Shh, be cool. Shoplifting is no big thing. I think you go to jail for it. I, I don't mean that, I mean it's easy. Our eyes evolved to notice movement. Like dinosaurs. If the dinosaur is moving... Wait, that's not... never mind. So as long as you're perfectly still when the clerk is watching... Like you're gonna freeze when she looks over. Even if you're in the middle of putting it in your pocket. And this is gonna work because of dinosaurs. Uh, just like dinosaurs. I'm not going to pretend to know you. I'm going to pretend not to know you until you're done, okay? Mom, can I help you? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Fucked it up. Yeah. Wait. She's coming back. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> Sweet. There's a secret ending. If you've messed it up too many times, where do you <laughs> you just go to prison? Okay, are you done? Oh yeah! Yes! Shut up and let's get out of here. Oh yeah, sweet. A belt buckle I'm never ever gonna wear. Rubs against my stomach. This is bad, me. You should steal something now. Pardon? I haven't ever done any, like, any crimes? I mean, like, yeah, I guess. Hasn't everyone? Well, get back in there, champ. What? No. Beatrice, uh, let me lay this out. One, the security cameras aren't even on in there. Two, the cashier clearly isn't paying attention. Three, there's not one mall cop here as far as I can tell. I don't know, I mean... Uh -huh. B, this is an experience. Have it. I'll run the interference. Okay, but I'm blaming you and driving away if I get caught. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna run interference while you do your thing. What, what do you mean? I'm gonna distract the clerk. I can do this. Okay, I will admit that drawing attention is a talent you have. I'm great at crimes. But what if I get caught? You won't. I'll just start screaming if I have to. How is that a good idea? Let's go! Okay, but if this goes wrong, I'm blaming you. Join the club. Just act natural. Hey! Uh-huh. Got a question? Uh, t-shirts are 20% off. Yeah, I saw. I was wondering about something else. Oh, uh, okay. The name of this store. Yeah. Ah, uh, you probably get this question a lot. Try me. Is it like revolution, revolution, or like your revolution? So, uh, what time do you get off later? Uh, are you flirting with me? Um. Uh, maybe yes, maybe no. I, I play hard to get, but uh, I do play hard. <laughs> Ma'am, I have work to do. Crap. 
So how? <laughs> what is? How you doing, B? Ah, uh, you know what? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself. All right, where did that come from? My fucking brain. That's where. How are you so calm? I just told you to fuck off. Are you? Do, do you have issues? No, but you fucking do. Okay, look, I mean, I've had some problems too, but I found a lot of peace in God. Oh, good, good. That, that's what I need. Do you need something? I, I don't know. My life made sense until recently, but now it's all fucked up. Can I pray for you? Okay, I'm done looking. Let's go. Uh, okay, it was nice talking to you. Bye. Uh, see ya. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. The retail flashbacks. That clerk was turning into burger pants in real time. Then. <laughs> Why is this freak trying to sell me dusty trinkets? I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> You had no idea this could go so long. <laughs> I picked the optimal path, clearly. Why did I do that? You did so well, B. I called the cops on shoplifters at my own store. This. Well, what did you get? Have you even shoplifted before? Haven't you even shoplifted before? Why, I think May's turning into tails. Oh, it's getting spooky around here. She's tailsing out. That's the issue. Have I, have I diagnosed the problem? I think it's just because my voice is getting tired here. Mercedes Benz. If the voice is indeed like Femme Pizza Pants, the Pizza Pants voice is, is it's the one that's maybe the hardest to do without fresh vocal cords, I find. I miss my wife, mate. So that could explain it. It's fatiguing in, in subtle ways. Haven't you even shoplifted before? B is a bit nasally because of the long snout. I could lean into that, I guess. No, never. Okay, now you're making me feel weird about it. Sorry. Forget it, we're home free. Really? Yeah, we're like out in open waters now. I feel kind of sick. Let's walk it off. <laughs> this is such a shitty date or whatever we're doing right now. <laughs> wow, I completely forgot about this giant fish head. Oh my god, I loved her. Did you ever come out to the summer days thing here? Yeah, I'd like it'll like squirt people. I still have no idea how they did that. I always assumed it was some guy in there with a squirt gun. One time I saw it knock a guy down. Yeah, every year that would happen and someone would make a fuss. But like, I don't know. You show it to be squirted by a fish fountain. <laughs> you, you know, uh, the walkway way, way up there. The walkway way up there. Uh, past the upper food court thing. Up in the atrium. The, the what? The ceiling, the glass part that points up. I, I know what an atrium is. Uh-huh. Uh, anyway. When I was a kid, I thought that that's where God lived. Wow. I don't know. I just remember staring at it when I was a kid, like eating a burger and trying to see if I could see God, like peeking over something. Looks like they've got some weird hanging art up there now. Oh, I know weird hanging art. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that shit. What, where does that stuff come from? Wanna go up and see? Nah, my knees are killing me from work. Oh. God is in the burger. 
It see it naturally spawns in every shopping mall. And airports. B is canonically straight and hates us? That's only canon if we can't get her to date me right now. Eh, you up for eating? This place feels like it's abandoned. I keep having to remind myself that this is like a still a functional mall that sells things. Eh, let's check out the rest of the mall first. There might be something else to look at. Uh, work up an appetite. I was kind of hungry when I got here. You need more Riz, May. You just need to Riz her up. The Smelters Country. I can't get any Smelters merch. That's a bummer. Book Rook. Oh, NPC. The vibes. Well, this should be good. I wonder what kind of a... Uh... Oh, come on. There's no one working the counter. Oh, wow. Hello, anyone here? Jeez. Hey, this is bleak. This is like something out of a failed state or something. What's that? Yeah, when you make a country and it doesn't work out. So, like this country? Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> got, got him. Got him. Nihilism reference. A bond over your hatred of, of the world. Jeez. Ruins. Uh, let's see what they've got. Honky Tonk Armageddon. Uh, Club a girl rolling hard on the E at this rave. <laughs> what the fuck? Whatever the fuck that is for sure. Jeez, uh, that's cute. What does that mean? Someone's very excited to be out on a school night. Is it drugs? Oh, E. E. No, wait. Isn't that estrogen? Is that also what they call ecstasy? Or is that molly? Ecstasy is molly and MDMA. It can't also be E. Can, can you pop estrogen at a club? Does that do anything? I'm just confused now. All right, buddy, you got two options here. Choose wisely. <laughs> what kind of E are you looking for? So it can be both. That's really fucking funny, actually. Yeah, is it drugs? It is drugs. Oh, hey, it's that band. What band? You know... You remember this song uh, that had the video that people posted like a zillion times? I have literally no idea what you're talking about. I had that weird horse in it. Uh, oh yeah, that one. Oh uh, yeah, I remember a weird horse in it, yeah. Oh god, that wasn't a horse at all. Oh no, wait. Oh, oh god, yeah, that, that horse was all... <laughs> I remember, yeah. I can't really voice that. Uh, yep, we have officially remembered that video now. We did it! Wow, he really did that! How are you doing that with your mouth? I don't know. Is there anything past here? Can't talk to that dude. That's the exit. I don't want to exit them all. My name's Rousey. I call me Mercedes. <laughs> <coughs> what do you think May smells like? Right now, probably vomit, because she still hasn't showered uh, since the night in the woods. Quite pungent. Uh, you up for eating? 
Yeah. Let's eat. Okay. I, I expected more excitement. Mall, the mall food cart dinner. Oh, what a feeling. See, that wasn't hard. Uh, what did you get? You've inhaled it before I got a look. Pizza taco from Gopher. Uh, pierogi burger from Smelter Burger. Pizza taco or pierogi burger? I feel like most attempts to add pierogies to other food is not good. Because you're just adding... Pierogies already contain a balance of, of carbs and filling. So if you put a pierogi on a burger or on a pizza, you're adding... You're taking a carbohydrate shell, the crust or the bun, and adding another carbohydrate shell. And then inside that is the actual food. So it's sort of like redundant. I'd go with a pizza taco for sure. Go for us some good garbage food. Yeah, I wish we get one in town. Oh, that would be so bad for me. It'd be worth it, though. It rained once. They're talking about Rain World chat. Rain World, I know that game. I know that one. That is, it's got the slug cats in it. And uh, five pebbles. Five pebbles looks to the moon. Squid game huggy wuggy. Uh, what? What the fuck are you talking about, B? What the fuck just happened? You, you went on some sort of psychotic rant there. Are you okay? Uh. Remember when Kathy DeManco pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring here? You know what that was about, right? Uh, wasn't Kathy pregnant with, uh, what was his name? Uh, football guy. Ron Boonstra. I didn't know you knew about that. Well, I mean, there was the first football game of our senior year, and, and Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled at the stands, My first touchdown's from my beautiful firstborn and his mommy, Kathy DeMonco! Oh, that's... that's something. Kathy was in marching band, and she was crying, I think. And then he dumped her for Cindy a week later. Oh, yeah, that's... that's the part I know about. That's what set off the whole nose ring situation. I wonder what Kathy's up to now. <laughs> which one was Kathy and which one was Cindy? I forget. Uh, I wonder what Kathy's up to now. Well, last year Ron had the ATV accident, uh, and someone, somehow Kathy and him got to talking after that, and they got married. Huh. I remember women's names. They they both started with C, though. Okay, when I when I worked at McDonald's, I had three managers named Tracy, Stacy, and Lacey. Can you even blame me in that case if I mix them up a few times? Can I even be blamed? Tracy, Stacy, motherfucking Lacey. Yeah, Ron's parents set them up out on a double wide out and uh, on a what? Were they triplets? Unrelated white women. Ron's parents set them up out in a double wide out in brittle. I don't know what a double wide out is. Oh, in a double wide. I don't know, B. I I'm not sure. Since Kathy refused to end up in Possum Springs. Oh, a trailer, I see. Brittle's like 15 minutes away. You know what? The worst part of the story is the sordid high school drama, Cindy having something ripped out of her face. Ron. Uh. Probably Ron? <laughs> At the time, I was like, God moves things around in the strangest ways to bring two people together. Huh, I, I guess. I don't know if I even believe in God. There's no way that May is not the, like, uh, faith-questioning, raised a Catholic kid with her mom in church at this point. Let's be real, there's no fucking way she's not in this arc right now. Uh, same, really. Thinking about this place, the fountain, and the god walkway and stuff. 
Not knowing how something worked used to seem like magic. Now not knowing means it might be going wrong and it may not be able to fix it. Help knowing someone was at the controls, you know? Now I'm just tired all the time from the shop. When I was at school... Yeah? I... I don't even want to talk about it. What happened, anyway? You want to run around the mall some more? Uh, there's not really much else to run around. We can check out the weird, bad art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't. I want to run. You run, I'm going to sit here. God, she's like May's mom at this point. <laughs> it's like you're, you're eating at the mall food court with your mom. I'm tired and sad now. Sit yourself. What happened at college, May? I bet it was nothing bad. I bet it was nothing really, really bad. Oh well. Oh, you can walk on this, holy shit. Hell yeah. It's a nice basis for a relationship. It's the single worst date I've ever seen. At least they got into some... <laughs> they were getting some stuff off their chests, at least, at the end. It didn't look like pleasant conversation, but it was at least conversation. You can walk on it? That's really fucking... okay. I'm, I'm picturing what this would be like in a real mall, like my palms are sweating. Like, holy fuck, that would be scary, walking on these weird things that are like 40 feet in the air. Good dates should get shirts off chests, not words. Hey, that's just, like, your opinion, man. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, wow. Is this? Oh, it's the fish. It must be. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow, hey. <laughs> I forgot this was a thing. Oh my god. Holy crap. Can I get her? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, she's into it. She's into it. Wait, I cut her off. How are you doing that, mate? Just stop it, I'm gonna die. Holy shit, mate. Okay, someone's gotta call the cops. <laughs> Beatrice said hello. <laughs> Don't give them our names. Oh wait, that's 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 me. Beatrice Jones. Oh wow, is that you, God? Yeah, it is. I, God Stevenson. I didn't know you had a last name. That was the most accurate fish you've ever seen. Hell yeah, I did it. Yo, me manifested a thousand blue ghosts to shoot the water at. <laughs> you really did, holy shit. God deserved a last name, Santello. <laughs> no, Stevenson, that was it. If God is Stevenson, then who the fuck is Steven? That's what I want to know. I I didn't know you had a last name. Silence, mortal. 
Through my fish monster, I have lain waste to your kind. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty magical. Silence, I shan't say it again. You and your good and noble companion shall get ice cream on the way home. <laughs> yeah, we should probably get out of here. <laughs> Before you're arrested. Really cracked her up. It did good. The cops shall be confused and stuff and beat each other up. For I am God and I hate cops. Okay, okay, get down there. Have a good one, mortal. Wait, we're still here? Why are we back here? Because it's not sticking it to the man. The man isn't going to lose anything here. But she will get in a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in a... She's just a cog in a much bigger machine, huh? Sure, whatever. Return that shit. Okay, I'm going. Did she actually say shit? I, I missed that, actually. I'm not sure how much swearing there is actually in this game. Uh, hi. Hello. You're back. Yeah, we stole some shit. Is the here is that shit? Oh, she does say shit. She's not allowed to say tier three swear words, I think. We don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. Uh, it's it's not your fault. The world's like it is. What? You stole this? You're just a cog in a much bigger machine. Uh, to blame you would be like blaming a thing inside inside a whole thing. So you're returning stolen merchandise. One day, folks like you are gonna overthrow the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. May's had another one of her uh, Disco Elysium moments here. She's become communist cop for this interaction. We're leaving. Stay strong, you beautiful dreamer. You have nothing to lose but your chains. What? Okay. Yeah, probably just leave it on the counter, like in the future. Yeah, this place used to be something. Is this background gonna scroll infinitely? Or maybe not. I mean, yeah, it still is something. Nah, just a big, mostly empty thing. And a big, mostly empty parking lot. Well, you work with what you have. Let's never come here again. You don't have to convince me. I only came here because you wanted to. Well, Fort Lucen used to be something. Now Fort Lucen's over. Let's go. Let it die in peace. Let it die. I want to drive on the way home. Nope. Where the fuck would me have learned to drive? Don't badger the workers if you steal something in the corporate retail, says Pidge. That's a PSA, apparently. It's a PSA. Is getting drunk on three cups of beer low electrochemistry or very high electrochemistry? <laughs> I think sadly it's low. That's just how it works. Are you going to play the whole game? No, I'm, not, I'm probably going to not go for too much longer because my voice is getting real tired at this point. I might be able to do it in two streams, but I'm not really sure how long it is exactly. Sup, Dad? Have you heard a wild? Uh, heard you had a wild time last night. I didn't drink. It works out better if you let me accuse you first. Uh, right. Here's my hangover here. Not drinking the night before. Wow. Hold on. Let me write that down. It's complicated, I know. What did you do tonight? I went out with B. You have a good time. Yeah, she's kind of, I don't know. 
Questiony question mark? Question mark. Like, she's older. Like, much older. And I kind of am kind of sad. Well, she's been through a lot. Yeah. Hey, Dad, would you mind moving the boxes in the crawl space? Well, what have you done for me lately? Been a credit to this family. Been an excellent daughter. That doesn't count. Well, would you watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Yeah, watch TV with Dad. That sounds nice. Hop up. I'm watching Garbo and Malloy. Nice. Is that a sarcastic nice? Nice. Welcome back, folks. All the show tonight. Say, Malloy. Yes, Garbo? Ever get the feeling that disaster is right around the corner? Sure do, right before we start the show every night. You superstitious, Garbo. Not anymore. What happened? I've never broken a mirror. I have broken every mirror I've never owned. No, I've ever owned. I'm fucking up the routine. I'm sorry. And now I'm lucky enough to never have looked at this mug. To never have to look at this mug. Oh, I get it. It's a joke. You made a joke. Yeah, but what about the rest of us? What? That's a whopper. <laughs> Coming up next, Garbo and I join a cult. And James commits arson. Oh, that would have been way better with the fucking bottom gear voices. That's an idea for next time. James May drives a Tony electric car. I'll commit arson. Hubman destroyed for war crimes in Uganda. Uh, that's it. All right. Oh, that's how you fix the expression. You break the mirror. Let's see how fast he works. Not that fast. God, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are like luxury furniture now. Since everything has a clock and internet on it. Like having something big that only does one thing. It's like a statement or something. True dat, me. True dat. Oh, they put a... They put the cover on their bird. Oh yeah, it's pester chum time. Hey dude, what did you do tonight? Oh wait, no, that, that was May. Uh, nothing much. Stole something. For Angus. It's a surprise. Whoa, uh, what is it? Hold on for a sec. Holy crap, I gotta TTA. Holy crap, I gotta talk to you later. Okay, weirdo, you okay? Gotta run from the popo because of the thing he stole. It was a car. Greg has a, a German soldier helmet. I'm not totally sure what the aesthetic is there. <laughs> and I know it says anarchist on it. But why is that associated with a, a German soldier helmet with a spike on top? Isn't that like a Nazi thing? I'm a, I'm a bit confused as all. Hey, cool mall times. Pretty cool mall times, yeah. I hope he didn't make too much of a mess with the fountain. It was we. I was merely sitting there when it was assaulted, when I was assaulted with mall water. I will not rest until that fountain is brought to justice. Tell the world my story. They must know. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I hope the nightmares aren't too horrible. It's a trauma I shall bear forever. Kind of turning into Squidward. That's okay, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
this charcoal sounds like the fucking uh the the dark souls 3 enemies with like the bible and the big spiky stick <laughs> they hug you and burn you to death <laughs> Cleanse the bastard's curse. <laughs> Do demon tower? Instead of doing that, I think I'm going to end the stream, actually. Unless... I want to check if there's a dream sequence first. If there's a dream sequence, then, then we'll do that first. That shark steals your data. Ah, for him, he can have it. I don't mind. Bedtime? Oh yeah. Art after the dreaming. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're doing art. Bonzi body. Expand dog. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Astral alley. Oh. Oh, it does that. It do be like that. The light does do that. It's low gravity here. Wacky. Uh, that's the ghost of a witch or something. That's something. Oh. Here we go. I love this song. I think I attempted this on piano, but it's kind of hard to make uh, an arrangement of it. It's a bit of a an Outer Wilds feeling moment, putting together the uh, the folk band instrument by instrument. Of course, this does predate Outer Wilds. Evil birds. Scary. Oh, here's the lad. I want to turn up the music for this, actually. Hang on. I'm cranking this shit. Oh, the music was still turned up since the intermission. I didn't even notice that. Huh. I turned the music way up before I left. You're a guy, right? You look like a, like a guy. Higher up, I think. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> Here's the the visuals back. Oh, there's our constellations. Rash Naz Murderer, whatever the fuck his name was. Here we go. Unleash the sacks. I think there's a tuba still. Oh. 
Oh. Oh my god. Probably a metaphor. <laughs> These edibles ain't shit, Scoob. Maybe that's what Front B looks like. If B ever turned her head forward, that's what you'd see. That's why she doesn't do it. All right, that's the stream. We're done here. Uh, but we're gonna do art first because everyone loves art. I'm sure we got some art. Do, 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 do. Shadow of Rosary DM'd me a thing. I'm going to count it as stream art. Um, uh, I guess I'll show that. Uh, Fire, Firefox, right? Yes. Gay furries. Shadow of Rosary made this for some reason. So, so thanks for that. Hot damn indeed. This should be the new stream background. <laughs> Instead of Gaster, it's just this. Looks static. Okay, the actual arts channel. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Okay. No stream art yet. That's spam tin. Oh, oh, we got a May from Neb thing. Cute little May. Little blobby, scrunkly, blurbo fucker looking May. Looks like a lump of wet clay that was slapped onto a countertop. May. Love to see it. This is. Potentially stream art. Gaster Turtle. I think that's May. I'm not even going to guess as to the other things. We're back to the cubism. Where do you send the stream art? Um, in my Discord server, the Arts and Crafts channel is the standard way of submitting stream art. Um, the link to the Discord is in the description if you need it. Oh, there's Karl Marx, too. I missed that. Hi, Marx. Look at him. He's adorable. Raz Mazov. <laughs> Mazovian social economics. Oh, this is what Walter's been cooking. Right, so yeah. Walter previously, way back in the day, submitted a humanification of Greg which looked like this, like this. There we go. That humanified Greg, which I think is a pretty good humanified Greg, but there is now a full set, a full set of Night in the Woods main cast. So we got Angus. Yeah, it's people like this probably. I can sort of picture it, yeah, it's Angus. We have a bee who looks about as um, angry, as I would imagine. <laughs> and we got May. It's a very cute one, actually. Very impressive art, as always, Walter. You got that fucking style. I assume all of these weren't made on the stream, but if they were, that would be very impressive, aside, aside from the Greg, of course, which was earlier. Uh, what do we got now? We got that one guy doing the thing. Oh, it's it's the guy who looked kind of like Alex Yeek. Yeeking out. Yeah, let's go smelters. I'm yeeking out so hard right now. Can someone tell me what the hell the score is in this game? That one's by C. Wonderful. Oh no, what the fuck, Doc? What is this? Doc did this, which <laughs> it's, 
It's Alex yeeked so hard that he turned into a fucking furry. <laughs> the center one is so cursed. Look at that. What the, that's a goblin. That's literally just a goblin in the middle. Look at that thing. And the, the glass rims turn into May's eyeballs. <laughs> God, I hate it. Fuck, I hate it. <laughs> okay. Vindictive Toast has been doing these very interesting vignettes for the last couple streams. Here's a new one. No, rat queen dropout bassist monster eyes crazy. That's May with a, a wizard hat for some reason. Dysmorphia cat. Dis <laughs> what the, the smoke of the cigarette. I was trying to read that. It just says mom dead. <laughs> Dude, that's fucked. <laughs> hey, hey, high five. High five me. I found this arm on the ground. High five. A corner. Yeah. Greg's my corner over here. The universal S and the cube are hanging out with the something is still here. Why is the something still fucking here? Well, how does it keep sneaking in? Can someone fucking get rid of the something? That's excellent. Is the outfit like a, a demon tower reference? I, I can't remember. Or is that just the Halloween costume in the future? I vaguely remember a Halloween costume. Oh, there's more shit. The Terminator. Oh, it's a snail cat. Aw. You like jazz? Why is it Gaster? Why is Gaster there? <laughs> What's the deal with uh, communist RPGs? Fucking based. Ooh, and an Outsin one. I love the Outsin one. Let's let zoom in, not spoil it. We have a, an Alex. <laughs> that May is so fucking good. Holy shit, look at her. She looks like a squashed cabbage leaf. <laughs> oh wait, is is this I'm picking up on the um let me let me call it before I read that text. Uh Alex dated seven women at college. Maybe maybe May was one. Maybe May and Alex dated and the experience was so fucking horrible that she dropped out instantly. God, that would be fucked up. And that's also canon to that one Azzy Pants story where May and Alex like kiss after getting drunk in front of the bonfire. Alex Yeek. Is this an Andrew Allenson post? This has been Outson's thing lately. Outson's been on the kick where he just goes and reposts like Andrew Allenson Discord posts to his as the developer of Yeek, if if you weren't aware. I'm I'm guessing that's what this is, but I don't actually know. Uh, Murakami and women is such an interesting topic, mainly because a lot of people say they're unrealistic, but I know that a lot of women who have, uh, sorry, but I know a lot of women who have said that they find them extremely relatable, specifically Anamame in IQ84 and the two women in Sputnik Sweetheart. It's also important to remember that Murakami was born in 1949 and the world was a very different place. Plus, Japanese sensibilities around women characters is different than the Western lens that we read his work from in English. This is why I think it's more interesting to talk to Japanese feminists about his characters. They have different takes than something like r slash books. r slash books is cancer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is indeed an Andrew Allenson repost. We have confirmation. <laughs> why is this so fucking funny? God, that's a good May. I want to fucking kill myself. She looks like... um. The guy, Desmond or whatever, from the first episode of Smiling Friends. He was voiced by Mr. Plinkett. That's what she looks like here. If you don't make me feel happy, I'm gonna shoot myself and make you two watch. Okay, that's fucking good. There was more, though. Is that... Germa, Greg? I don't even know what Germa bit this is referencing. Is this the teacher noise? Or or no? I don't know. That's fucking Germa Grig though. That's fucked up, man. Teacher noise. Ding ding ding! 
I, I don't even remember what the teacher noise was. I feel like that was it, right? If the teacher walks in the room and goes, you'd be, what the fuck? Greg got that energy though. Me after three beers. <laughs> That's <laughs> God, these are good outs and fuck I love that one. This one also looks like that same guy from Smiling Friends. <laughs> Who just wants to kill himself. Yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck the world. Yeah, shit, yeah. More of a is that it? Is that the teacher noise? Like an alarm clock. Yeah, that's also a pretty burger pantsy may. This is going to be the new stream bit. Try to convey through text what the teacher noise was such that I can recreate it without ever having heard it, I think. Or at least I don't remember what it was like. It's bizarre. It was really inhuman and rapid. <laughs> Maybe I can't do it then. Oh, it's the expression. Okay, that didn't carry over without the mutton chops, I'm afraid, but... He sang some bullshit and made this face. It's an expression of pain. Can I get a reference maybe? Let me find it. Uh, wait, that's fan art of the expression. Where's the real expression? Okay, this is the closest. Oh fuck, that's a YouTube video. Here we go. So, original. <laughs> you can see it. The, the nose is definitely very red. <laughs> Three beers in. There's more art. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just stalling because I like this one a lot. Goodbye, Harry A. Ah, yeah. This one is by Nikaizo. It's a cute little minimalist May with the. That must be the Halloween costume from later. It must be. That's a cute one. We have Local Smash Mania with this hand drawn comic. You're poking that arm with a stick. Okay, but, but but if I chop you up in a meat grinder, and the only thing that comes out that's left of you is your eyeball, you're you're probably dead. You're probably not. No, I'm, I'm just saying. I, I just I'm not. I'm not gonna put you in a meat grinder, Chad. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna put you in a meat grinder. <laughs> Greg would put you in a meat grinder. What a fucking weirdo. What a little weirdo. That's by Smash Mania. That is the end of the stream art. Wow. Oh wait, I think there was an Azzy Pants that I had to show off. Or was there? I forget. I remember someone in Arts and Crafts saying I made a late stream art and I, it didn't get into the last stream. Let me scroll up and look for that quick because there may have been a late piece of art from the last stream that I want to read. Oh, here it is. I found it. This was by Neomoth for the Rain World stream last time, but I want to show it off here. You realize this is a kidney stone coated in piss, right? <laughs> there we go. It was all worth it. You got it in the end. Okay. Uh, that's enough of that. Excellent stream. Loving me the late night in the woods. Um, soon popular too. I hope you're enjoying it. And we'll do this again next Sunday. So until then, uh, I don't know, try to have some funny Deltarune dreams and post them so that Outsen has to make another video. <laughs> nice. Okay. Bye, everyone.